the CKDJ Broadcasting Studio, behind the bookshelf with the bust of Stan Lee, the Y-Fighters join forces to bring you the hottest news from around the geeky underworld. CKDJ presents Alex Richardson, Jeff Baxo, Nathan Coffin, and CC Lee as the Y-Fighters. Welcome back to the Y-Fighters, everyone. Yes! Yay! Yes. Woohoo! We're this is on, uh, uh, week four. Week four. I think we just got to stop like counting the wees because I always I was doing it because it's like oh my god we're still going and now it's just like oh yeah we're here. <laughs> we, we got a month under our belt now. Yay! I feel so wise. Fightering. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was a terrible joke. Jeff. That was a terrible joke. I had to stretch. Don't make that joke again. I thought it was pretty good. Thank you, Alex. Aww, Alex, don't Alex. support his horrible behavior. Anyway, I'm Jeff. I'm CC Lee. I'm Alex Rich. And I'm Nathan Coffin. And uh, today we have quite some interesting things to talk mm-hmm. about today. And it's going to be fun. It is going to be so fun. How oh fun will it be? Oodles. Oh, God. Caboodles? I, I, I only like put like 30 minutes of talking into this for me and then the rest of you guys. So it's like 25% guaranteed it's going to be fun. Oh. I don't know about the rest of you guys. Oh, are. wow. Way to just... Uh, How did you all? Yeah, put us on <laughs> the bus there. Oh, that's what I do. I don't feel good about that at all. Call me the bus driver. Moving away from the derogatory sentences. Sorry. <laughs> I <laughs> still love it. That's not a big everyone. word at all. Mm. Anyways. It was kind of a wordy some, sentence. Yes. Regardless, some gaming news. And releases. Mm-hmm. So who wants to start this round, boys? Well, I guess it'll be me. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Way to take command. <sighs> yeah, might as well. And earlier this week, a big moment happened in the world of gaming. Uh-huh. PlayStation 4 got dropped. You can't really say it was Boom. early PlayStation what? It happened. How did it get dropped? Wasn't it yesterday? It was two days ago. Okay. okay. It d- irregardless of when it was, how did it get dropped? Irregardless is not a word. Well, ah. you know, it was released is my point. You know what I mean, Nathan. <laughs> I guess. It was released Thursday at midnight and, well, some lovely, well, not so lovely news happened. I guess lovely in our opinion because, well, it didn't happen to us. Within a couple of hours of it being released, two thefts occurred in the same town. Two thefts? Yes, Not of even PlayStation one, two. 4s. P- two people was robbed of their PlayStation 4s before they even left the parking lot. Were robbed. Yes. Danny Ocean is said the You're just all about suspect. the grammar and proper sentences and spelling and words. like. This After- time I could say we was robbed. Mm. We w- like we uh, I'm bringing my street cred up, people. Okay, I admit I was wrong, though, with my wording. <laughs> Regardless, you know, it, it's it's happened. That's this is a new l- stage in... Are, are people still getting robbed? No, it hasn't happened since. But ironically enough, in the world of sci-fi, this happened in Bakersfield, California, which, if you know your Star Trek, it's where a bunch of... You know, scenes were actually shot for their desert scenes. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure how that's ironic, though. Uh, Just of all places, it's kind of funny. That it's actually (laughs) something relevant to what we talk about on this show? Uh, Yeah. I can can see that. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Where were Kirk and Spock to stop this? Uh, They're too busy in space. I have a... It was Scotty's day off. Oh, okay. (laughs) I I have a hankering for a Sony PS4, but you know what? No money, so yeah. I don't. I don't think any of us have uh, any problem with. The we fact could like that other people pool our money and uh, collectively my, buy one mm, PS4. Oh but I don't want to break my piggy bank yet. You have a piggy bank. It you has don't? money in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a piggy bank. I wish I did now. Yeah, you do. Uh, Alex has one. Oh, I got actually. Uh, true story. My piggy bank was a peg with little overalls on. That's and a, so and, cute. And a little, uh, little uh, hat on, like a farmer. Yeah, it, was, it was awesome. A straw in the mouth. Did, did yeah, 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 yeah. Legit. And uh, and then he had a baby peg. I had a little second piggy bank. Oh. And he was a little baseball guy. So it was by far the best piggy bank ever. I don't know. It, to me, that just kind of sounds a little like. Uh, oh, like, what, what are you trying to say? It, I don't know. Having a pig stare at you in your room, like, did you? Turn I think it to the you're wall? just upset that you didn't have that piggy bank. I don't like pigs. What? what do you got against pigs? What? I don't like them when they're alive or when they're used as a caricature. But do you like them as bacon? Yes. All right, then. Well, th- that wasn't even a question. Like, of course. Well, so, not everybody likes bacon, Nate. So when your parents read you Winnie the Pooh, or if they did or did not, but was the Piglet was Piglet a very horrifying... I, no, he wasn't horrifying. I just didn't like him. He was kind of horrifying. I think we're on a tangent here. We're very <laughs> off topic. <laughs> Anyways, I have some gaming news I'd like to talk about regarding the PS4. Uh, one of the releases that is coming up uh, next year, actually, 
Uh, Konami announced that Metal Gear Solid V, Ground Zeroes, and Phantom Pain, which are supposed to be like the same storyline, they're going to be released separately. Uh, following their 12-minute gameplay trailer showing off how absolutely gorgeous the game looks, Konami admitted that they would divide the prologue from the actual game, which doesn't really make sense to me. They hearkened it back to Metal Gear Solid 2, where the tanker incident was a prologue to the Big Shell incident, if mm-hmm. anyone's played Metal Gear Solid here. I have. Uh, where they were separa- Who hasn't? They were separated by a few years, right? And that's kind of what's going on with that one. However, they said it would be better if they released Ground Zero's the prologue sooner so that people can get their hands on the game until Phantom Pain is released, as the prologue is finished, but the actual game isn't. So, so pretty much what you're saying is they're delaying it in order to introduce it? Yeah, I, I guess so. It's huh. just good. It doesn't feel weird. Uh, it doesn't feel weird at all. It's uh, it's stranger when Jeff says it. That's they, the yeah. They say Ground Zero is released. Jeff, you made it weird. That's what I do. Spring 2014, yeah. 24, I have to wait that long? I know. They, uh, they, I don't have patience for that. I put up the video of the gameplay on the Twitter feed, which we forgot to actually mention the last episode. I was listening to it. We uh, tweet. <laughs> the Twitter feed at Y Fighters underscore CKDJ. If you want to check that out, which you do right you do. now while you're listening. So uh, talking about Metal Gear Solid Five, uh, uh, Nate, I got some news for you. Lay it on me. Uh, uh, you know, if you've seen the beautiful Japanese cover of Metal Gear Solid Five, then you've seen that uh, it includes uh, Snake and Kaz Miller. But uh, if you've seen the Western version of it, apparently Kaz does not appear. On the cover. Is, yeah. this a, is this a case of the American uh, covers always spoiling something in the game? Uh, it may be. You know, there mm-hmm. hasn't been a lot of talk about it necessarily. I hope not. Um, but people are speculating that maybe Kaz isn't going to show up in the Western version. What? How, though? I, I'm not sure. I've seen the videos. They literally open up with Kaz talking. And it's just like, but have you, you have you seen the Japanese version or have you seen the Western version? I saw the, the video release on E3. And maybe if he just went missing, that would make sense. Or maybe if they just thought he was... It's always a possibility, character. right? But, mm. like, they can't take Kaz out of uh, the big boss era of Metal Gear Solid. It doesn't they make could sense. if they wanted it to. It don't make no sense. But maybe they'll, like, they'll throw in, like, a huge twist that we just don't know about yet. What, he's going to be the narrator? Or... No. No, that wouldn't work. A lot of the, a lot of the videos have featured Kaz, and, like, taking him out would just feel really wrong, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, that's my that's my opinion yeah. on this news. I, I feel the same way. <laughs> Good. I'm risky, not happy about it. Risky decision. So mm-hmm. let's just say to you know everyone out there, uh, cross your fingers that Kaz is going to be in the Western version. I Hope will for the pray. Best. I mm-hmm. will pray he's there. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's not it's not the same without Kaz. Will you pray to Solid? Ha, ha, ha. Or Snake, I should say. Jokes. Yes. I meant. I will pray to Snake. Pray Such to terrible snake. jokes, guys. Such joke. Anyway, it's only bad if you. <laughs> think it's bad. Anyone else got a good uh, story to talk about? Yes. I'm sure oh. must, someone must have I got something. some more. It, this is, I think, PlayStation Day. Yes. Because that's well, really all the news I was able to find. Well, I mean, yeah. look about I mean, yesterday. Xbox or One not is not doing so hot right now. Well, well, all, all that's yet. on the internet right now is like is Miley Cyrus no, and PS4. Isn't. I know, but who <laughs> wants to play the Xbox One when you're going to constantly be like watched? I'm not getting into Big Brother. Oh, God. <laughs> Always watching. Always watching. Orson Welles did it best. Moving on. As I said, more PlayStation news. Uncharted fans, a.k.a. Indiana Jones without the hat and whip. Whoa, whoa. No, what? different personality can entirely. I mean, as far as the generic idea of a character. He's a treasure hunter. And Indiana Jones isn't? He's an archaeologist. But what does he always find? Treasure. That's different. And love. One of them, <laughs> and love. One of them is stealing. He the finds other love. Is Borrowing without permission. <laughs> you win this round. <laughs> Moving on. A Uncharted title has been released. Sorry, not released. Announced. Ooh. The announcement announced. has been released. There we go. <laughs> Whew. Dodged a bullet there. Yes, Nathan Drake yes. might not be the protagonist, though. What? Yeah, what the hell? there's some minor. You seem very angered by that. Look, okay, there was a startling. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> non amount of 
famous Nathans that I recognized as a child, and I'm finally given one in Nathan Drake. And now you're saying that Nathan Drake is they're taking it away from you. Nate. I said they they are. are. They're not giving you what you want. Okay. I said they might because he wasn't actually revealed in said announcement trailer. It was just some ominous voice that you do not know his identity yet, talking about some treasure hunter, I'm going to say, in the third person, not naming any names. So for all we know, Nathan is this treasure hunter being spoken of. Nathan, did you uh, did you voice act this? No, no, I wish. Uh, Nathan Drake actually has a really nice voice actor who I recognize from another game, but I actually cannot remember what it is. But if you give me a bit of time to meditate on it, I can totally <laughs> tell you that I still don't know who. Are you going to meditate <laughs> here in the studio? Uh, Nathan North. Nolan North. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Moving I do now. Moving on. <laughs> uh, I have some uh, PS4 news. Everyone has PS4 news. Yeah, we all have PS4 news. But mm. uh, so you know, PlayStation Four, it's out, all fine and dandy. Woot. I think it went fairly well. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, PS3, there was like rioting. People <laughs> were killed, something like and that. And instead, people what? were just getting robbed. Yeah, there was giant riots when the PS3 came out. Yeah. People were being beaten. And I do not remember fire. this. I went to go get my PS3, and everything was fine and dandy. And I went home, and I was happy. Well, in other not so civil countries. You know, civil cities. Other than Canada, civil cities. <laughs> yeah. civil the very civil, civil cities. people we are. Civilized. In any Th- case. There was rioting. It was like Black Friday global scale. There's only six <laughs> PS3s available near my uh, GameStop and at my GameStop. And they're not taken yet. Uh, no, they they were taken almost immediately. Oh, I was gonna uh, say. Wow. But the fact that there's only six there in a town of like ten thousand, it was like, wow, you guys didn't think of this through. In any case... Well, does anyone know the exact number of how many PS4s were released in total? Oh, I have no idea. I don't want to know that. Straight to Google. It would make make (laughs) me sad. Google that stuff, Alex. Because so many people were able to afford it before, well, us. The actual release is not the news, because that's old now. It's old. Is it, though? No, not really. Anyways, uh, I actually checked on my PlayStation Vita really recently, and I had an update. And you know what it was? It was a connection thing that let me connect to the PlayStation 4 from my Vita. <gasps> and I looked into it, and uh, apparently you can stream your PlayStation 4 games at a lower resolution straight to your Vita. And thus can play it generally in your room or something what like that. What will they think of next? Uh, GameSpot recently did a stress test, basically, seeing how far away from your PS4 you can bring your how Vita. How far will it go? Uh, 50 feet, actually. That's pretty and good. you don't lose uh, quality of video the farther away you get. It just drops immediately once you hit the limit. You, sa- you It sounds bad, but they actually pause the game for you, and then oh. when you walk back into the uh, range... Uh, it'll say, "Hey, you want to begin? You want to start your game again?" And it asks so politely. Oh yeah, uh, please, please <laughs> play your game. In any case, uh, do it for us. You know, I actually appreciate that. Mm. Yeah, I, I know. Thank you from the computer. Is you know? Yeah, it's, just like it's always crashing and stuff on you. So <laughs> it's better yeah. than the rude Siri. Thank you for putting out. I guess that's us. one more step of technology becoming more human. Yeah. Oh. Thanking you. If uh, if anyone else robot. has news. No news? Uh, well, I mean, there's like a couple RPGs that you could be looking forward to in the new year. Mm-hmm. Not Persona 5 still. And a DLC coming up eventually. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but uh, as far as games go for the new year, we've got uh, Dragon Age oh, Inquisition. Inquisition. That's oh, the one. That's yeah. my one, baby. Finally. Yeah. I know a lot of people that are looking forward to that game. I'm definitely looking Me forward included. to it. Especially the, uh, the, the disappointment number two was. Oh, God. But we won't talk about that. Thank that God. distant relative. But it's the, forbidden. But number one in the uh, DLC were f- for sure. Mm-hmm. Game I still like winners. the game, though. Uh, what else have we got? Well, we have got Dark Souls 2. Oh, yeah. That's, That's coming out uh, late in the year, eh? Yeah. February? Yeah. yeah. Dark Souls 2. Well, technically mm. early in the year, I yeah, guess. Yeah, it's beginning of 2014. Oh, my mistake. I, oh, it's going to be technical. <laughs> yeah. Be careful now. Don't, well, don't give them the, the wrong news. Right. <laughs> You're the tech guy, after all. <laughs> MGS5 coming out. Well, I guess Ground Zero's coming out spring 2014. Mm-hmm. But I already mentioned that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look at you with your... I, I'm on the ball today. <laughs> I'm, I got two well, birds, uh, for one that, stone. For that PS4, uh, one million PS4s were available for Europe. Just available? For Europe. For Europe. Huh. A million. They yeah, really million. got. Uh, so they. <laughs> and now we know. They stepped that, up their game. Mm-hmm. 
So, uh, one more game that we should be looking forward to in 2014, or you may not be looking forward to, depending on how you've liked the last few games, is uh, Final Fantasy XV. <gasps> That's true. I've been seriously disappointed in the last few Final Fantasies myself. Now, why is You're that? Not- I, I just I not I I just don't like the gameplay, personally. Good answer. The graphics are fine. They're focused on like how weird the characters look. Yeah, right. they really are. How that character is. They're trying to make them the more human like, but I feel like they're not doing that at all. Not at all. Hmm. You know what bugs me is that they say <laughs> Final Fantasy fifteen, but it's not fifteen. It's like thirty. Uh, <laughs> so true. They it's actually true, uh, right? no, no. They 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 went back to the normal numbering after. Uh, yeah, I think. But that, after yeah, but you they, can't do they that. They remade so many of them. Oh no, that no, uh, that's different. That's, I don't know. It's just they've made so many Final Fantasy games. I like to consider them like patches. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's Final Fantasy patches. four point three. You know, like it's just like oh yeah, the third uh, remake of Final Fantasy four. But uh, I don't know. Well, either way, if you if you've liked the past few Final Fantasies or you haven't, you should look forward to because it looks it looks it. ridiculous in the best way possible. Fourteen mm-hmm. was apparently really good, and I'm still trying to get into that one. But I, I haven't played that. It's it's the, has anyone played that? It's the MMO, and I have a few friends who have, and they're like, oh. <gasps> But uh, actually, we do have a friend who's played we that. We do, Andrew. We do, Andrew, holy and uh, he hell. seems to like the game a lot. So uh, I remember watching him. Play He's a it salt for a bit. citizen. I remember playing that game. Because I stole the remote. Ah, uh, I remember. That's uh, what I did. Yeah, <laughs> I was over at a different time. <laughs> Final, <laughs> uh, <laughs> da, 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 Final Fantasy thirteen was garbage. Uh, uh, but they're agreed. apparently making a new Final Fantasy thirteen that I can't remember. How can you make a new Final Fantasy thirteen? I, oh wait, you're right. It's Lightning Returns. It's yeah, Lightning awesome. Returns. That's what it is, yeah. and it's just. Uh, it's kind of disappointing, honestly. Just like I wish they just the stop. They should yeah. just stop. Final Fantasy thirteen had way too many problems to be considered a good one, so they really shouldn't be continuing that one specifically. You know what would be a really great idea for the Final Fantasy franchise? First person shooting. <laughs> yeah! Because <laughs> that's big right now. You should so write them a letter. Totally oh, yeah. like left field for the franchise. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> well, take it in a new direction. They zombies could... while we're at it. Ooh, yes, zombies. <laughs> I love zombies. Yeah. Get everything generic that you can in there. Mm-hmm. Can, we, can we do zombies? Throw in like a, ha- a really fast, like, uh, four GT, you know. Yeah, and you know, super powered plumbers. You know what? Let's just combine <laughs> all games. Ooh, but there is a game I am seriously looking forward to, and it may be because I'm a kid at heart. But Kingdom Hearts three. Yeah, Yay! Yay! it's been a while since. Uh, I know. Yeah. I'm just waiting for my friends to play it so I can watch them play it because I really don't. I haven't played any of them. But with the whole mashup of franchises thing, I'm really looking forward to it. Honestly, I, guys. I, I like, just. Uh, uh, I, like, I dream about it, and I drool. It's a My different variation of Super Smash yeah. Bros. All I remember from Kingdom Hearts 3 was, uh, Kingdom Hearts in general is, uh, darkness, 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 darkness. Uh, that's it. Like, the one video where they actually take every single time they say dark or darkness, and they put it into one video, <laughs> and it's three minutes long of the word darkness being repeated. And then if you just go in the options and up the brightness. It just, <laughs> it's so true. Just, like, it's so I win! <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's against I've defeated the darkness. <laughs> But uh, the only problem I have with Kingdom Hearts 3 is, like, how are you going to continue the storyline? Because I felt like it really ended on a good, you know, note with Kingdom Hearts 2. Yeah. So, well, it's, there's the is always... everything just going to go into darkness again? Well, I think like, this Disney is that the Star plot Wars? line? Oh, gonna, is yeah. Star Wars going to be in it? I know Maybe. The World Ends With You is going to be in it, and I actually really like that DS game. I do like that DS game, too. Oh, my God. Thank you. Is I have a Star player Wars pin Do you have it for your DS? Because I have it for oh, mine. I lost it a long time ago. Oh. Basically, if Mickey Mouse might have a lightsaber, that's all. Oh, I'm pretty I'm, impressed with that. Let's hope, I'm, folks. Let's if, hope. If it, I just had they don't make the a greatest smi- I have a giant grin on my face because of that idea. Oh, I know. Like I know. I know what the lady's grin. like. Yeah. <laughs> hey. hey but uh, I'm that's, just gonna agree. I'm so uh, excited for this. There'll be a care. mod. There'll be a mod for it. Don't worry. There folks. better be. Oh yeah. There's a mod to do anything. There's really. going to be a Keyblade lightsaber, you know, might as well. A Keyblade lightsaber? There. You can be. It could happen. Wow. You can mod Skyrim to be Gandalf with lightsabers. You That's can definitely true. mod You can Kingdom. do that? Yes. It's a real thing. Look at I it. know nothing anymore. I got another release I just remembered about that I was really disappointed in. Yaiba, Ninja Gaiden Zed. It's going to be released on March 4th in 2014. What does that stand for? Uh, it's, you know, remember like Ninja Gaiden Sigma Z or whatever? Or like they just started adding Zs to the end of the games. Lots of Zs. Like Dragon Ball Z. And you know what? It was okay. <laughs> no, it was not a hard the game. same thing. 
Wait, is it yeah. Z or Z? I want to know. Yeah, is it which one is, is it? it? American Z. Made? It's American or uh, Japanese or whatever. Right. In any case, they really kind of took the Ninja Guidance uh, franchise and flush. <laughs> Good sound. It effect. was an exploding <laughs> uh, success. No, <laughs> oh. you wish. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, I think I linked it on the Twitter feed again, but. Um, it's gross. It's gross. I don't like it. Just gross? It is gross. Is that, like, the bottom line? Well, I've seen... The dialogue is disgusting. It feels like 13-year-olds wrote it Ooh. while they were going through puberty. Huh. Mm. That, that is well, rough, I'm going to check that off my not playlist. Uh, mm-hmm. Moving on from this down note. I, I think yeah. we need a uplifting well, I uh, scene, I don't know if it's going to be very uplifting, but we're going to move on to our Y Fighters Apocalypse Survival Guide. It Yay. sounds a bit better than this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo! Woo! <laughs> Surviving re- the apocalypse. Don't if I remember die. correctly, if I remember correctly Alex was dead it? already. Uh, well, he wasn't dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lived it up. Actually, right actually, we left off with Alex unaccounted for. Oh. And the rest of our party headed to a fallout shelter that may only exist in theory. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, when so, you guys uh, were scrambling for yeah. your lives, I was partying with some girls. So yeah. I don't know. I so we'll leave yeah, it at that. I, I, yeah. <laughs> so like with, say with the good. next wave of nuclear yada. missiles approaching, where will the Y fighters find themselves next? Dun, nah, nah, nah. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So uh, we left the creepy town, and Thank with God. nowhere left to run, we attempt to make it to a mysterious fallout shelter where we've heard of, but we don't necessarily know the exact location, guys. Okay. Yeah. So they so, gave us uh, a treasure map and sent us on our way? Yeah, pretty much kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, that town was really creepy, so I didn't want to stay there. I, I did not want to stay there. Okay. Um, but uh, now we have three paths ahead of us. Oh. Yeah, we can take the left path, which is a dirt road. We uh-huh. can take the middle path, which is a paved road with towns along the way, but possibly has loose looters. Like, yeah. uh, you know. I was thinking that, too. Yeah. But we and, don't live uh, there. Well, if... It doesn't matter. We have supplies that they want. Bandits. Okay. Yeah. Bandits. That's what they... Highway. There you go. Highway Thank robbery. Um, and then we can take the right path, which is a trail through the woods. What would you like to do? Ooh. Always take the path of righteousness. Which the is woods. what? So <laughs> right. We're uh, going right. We're going through the right path? May I warn you, I just read Little Red Riding Hood, so the woods <laughs> seems dangerous. Yeah, but I like woods. You okay. just read it? Why? Well, yeah, I read you it. You just read it now? Yeah, First I just read it the other week. life. <laughs> okay, continuing on with the story, guys. I've never seen girl, Bambi. You know? So we've taken the right path, and the woods have offered yes. up their bounty to us, which uh, technically means we've scavenged a lot of food and water from a steady flowing stream. Good for us, yay! They, is the food good to eat? Yes, it's 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 fine. Okay. For some reason, it has yay. not been affected by fallout yet. It's not irradiated. It, it, it's not. It's 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 okay to eat. Mm-mm, good. Yeah. I was looking forward to superpowers. Uh, there's not gonna be any in this episode. <laughs> in this episode, dun dun dun. 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 Damn it. Okay, so the sun is going down, and we need to find shelter pretty much immediately. So we continue through the woods, and we find a large cement cellar door. The lock has already been broken. <gasps> okay. Well, that's convenient. Do we have any weapons? <laughs> we have a few weapons. We have a few weapons, but I'm not going to allude to what they are yet. Oh, my God. Yeah. Well, uh, so we don't, don't even know what, know kind of what I have. You don't know what you have, because I'm keeping everything. So it's in the mystery bag, like Dora the Explorer? Yeah, it's like in my magical, like, uh, pouch of things. What else are you hiding okay. from us, Sierra? Oh, oh, you'll find out. Well, I say <laughs> Bamanos. Let's open those doors and raid that. So, stuff. yeah, <laughs> here are your options. You can enter without knowing what lies below. You can continue on in hopes of finding a different shelter. Oh, no. Or you can oh, no. arm yourselves with the magical weapons that I carry in my pouch of goodies. They're magical? Magic. Okay, Magic. well, they're not. Okay. Are they enchanted? They're not enchanted. Plus one strength. There is no enchanted. They're I was wrong. They're fancy weapons. They're regular mysterious. weapons. They're mysterious weapons. <laughs> you can arm yourself and venture in screaming for whoever is inside to come out. Yes. Let's okay. do it. Third option. I'm, let's equip ourselves and get ready to rumble. Okay, so we've <laughs> equipped ourselves, and I will now tell you what your weapons are. Sweet. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, our weapons aren't very good because this is a, an apocalypse scenario, and uh, we came here on vacation, guys. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So pretty much we have a baseball bat. Okay. Uh, we have a kitchen knife. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, and we have a sharpened rake. Whoa. I want the rake. Oh. <laughs> I claim the rake. Jeff, what would you like to take? I'm the gonna... bat or the kitchen knife? Oh. 
You should have got the first. Uh, I would go bat for reach. You know what? I'm going for knife for versatility. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. And Mm. mobility. All right. That leaves me with the bat. Now we enter this cellar, supposed cellar. And uh, surprisingly, the one who is in there is Alex. Alex! It was me. (laughs) I What are you doing? <laughs> oh, it's who it, has mysteriously it picked the lock and took refuge in it. When did you learn how to lock pick? Oh well, it's uh, a special guys, skill. When you guys left me at that first, <laughs> the first oh. episode when they, yeah, the, the military guys taught me how to do it. Oh, the military. Yeah, yeah. He, he learned a lot. Okay, guys. Yeah, I stuck around. Was, I took a grade eleven. Course. We clearly should have stuck around for that, but we thought yeah. those people were, you know, off their rocker kind of thing. They might have been. So uh, we we all meet up in this cellar. Thank goodness you're there. And I Alex. keep my companions. Good. Yeah. I give them good uh, stuff. Yeah. Good, good, good a- host Alex skills. Appears to have, uh, hug, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Alex appears to have collected like a, a huge amount of supplies. Not a huge amount, but a good enough amount of supplies to uh, last us for a good time. Yay! Yeah. Okay. Not including alcohol, unfortunately. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, but lots of water. That's good. That's, that's good. good. And uh, lots of non-perishable food. Thank you, Alex. Ramen! Better. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if they so have ramen. Really a little bit insane. Mac and cheese. Uh, yeah, they have mac and cheese. But, it's uh, been a while. I mean, we need to boil water for that. Anyways, we're going to stay the night here, and uh, we're going to hope for a better day tomorrow. Mac and cheese party! Yeah. So uh, this is the option you've chosen, and now it's the next day. Okay. Now... We can either venture out, hope to find the next town and or fallout shelter. We can stay there another night, prep ourselves. Or we can venture out and aimlessly wander around. Boys. Well. Now that you're here, Alex. Now that now that I'm, uh, you know, back in the group here. You do get to say now. I, think... I do, I get to say. Well, he didn't, I didn't. Okay. I say that we, we do a final search of the house or the, the cellar. The I mean. cellar. The cellar. It is a cellar. Let's uh, gather what we can and uh, go, find an, go find the next town. Guys, do That's you agree a, with this I'm option? Going, he had the smart move last time. <laughs> you should clearly follow what <laughs> Alex yeah, says. I am still alive says. after you left me with some, uh, Military some shady men. people. So Yeah, it's true. Uh, so since Alex has made the executive decision, we do find a mysterious second door. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. We have a key? Did we, how did we miss that? Well, it was it was dark and nighttime, and we were hungry and cold, and we wanted to sleep, you know? Touche. Yeah, so that's what happened. Do we even have blankets? No, we don't have blankets. What the hell? We cuddle for warmth. Yeah, yeah. we, we huddle up into like a I pile. Like I said, I was a good it's host. A dog pile. You guys came here. I shall keep you warm. Yeah. Thank you. So we found this mysterious second door, and we don't know what's behind it. There's no sound coming from it, so we can uh, safely assume that there's no, you know, monstrous being behind Boogie there. Woogie woogies. Yeah. Ooh. However, we don't know that there are more people behind it. It's possible. Mm-hmm. Knock twice. Knock. Okay. We knock. I want to knock. You want to knock? I want to knock. All right. It's polite. <laughs> <laughs> you you knock, Nathan knocks, and he hears nothing. There's no response. Say Hello. Okay, well, we've already knocked. Do you want to do a Sheldon or something? Yeah. (laughs) Just (laughs) slip a note into the door. Now, unfortunately, Alex is the only one with pick-locking abilities. Oh, so uh, obviously I So uh, right on So he has to take the front of this. So it doesn't, again, we don't know what's in there, but we can safely assume that there's no monstrous beings because there's no growling coming from there. There better not be a booby trap. I've got a theory. Is there any light coming in? From the second door. From the window. Are there windows at all in there, the cellar? There are no, there are no <laughs> windows in the cellar. However, right. there are solar-powered lights. Ooh. So someone has taken the time to make this cellar. What about through the... Is there any light coming out from under the door? We can see a faint light emitting. All right. I'm going to take oh, the they're playing a PS4 kitchen in there. <laughs> and do a signs moment and use the reflection of the knife in order to look what's beyond wow, the door. Jeff, that wow, Jeff. Wow, that intrig- was smart yeah. thinking. Thank you. Yes. And uh, you find that it is, it is another room with one person in it <gasps> hiding in a corner. Are we talking I like... I really hope they're not crazy. Like the grudge creepy in the corner? Oh, no, or? no, no. This is like a regular person hiding in a corner. Do they have a I weapon? mean, you can you can see them in the knife's reflection. Okay. Uh, uh, we don't know whether or not they have a weapon, Nate, because we can only see so much using a knife. Yes. Okay. Yes. So uh, your options are we can open the door using Alex's clearly superior abilities. I have a really good plan. 
Uh, we can. <laughs> yeah, don't use don't use what she just said. No, no. I mean, based on that, <laughs> I have a really oh, good okay. plan. <laughs> we can leave the person in this room, the second mysterious door room, no. or we can knock again, hoping that he answers. Okay, this is my plan. All right, just let's hear it. Bust in with that rake, man. No, <laughs> come on. Open the door. This is this is what happens. Alex starts opening the door. He p- lick, uh, licks, licks the, the, he licks it the door. He licks oh, the that's, lock. That's how that's how they taught me to do it without lock picks. Is use your tongue. <laughs> he picks the lock, and uh, we start to slowly open the door. Uh, we get the bat, and we put Alex's hat on top of it, and we start slowly eking the hat out from behind the door Ooh. to see if they get uh, alarmed and shoot. I like this elaborate plan. I like it. Okay. If my hat gets ruined, you're buying me a new hat. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> is this the plan you've chosen, guys? Let's do yes. it. This yeah. is the plan? Okay. All right, so after picking the lock or licking the lock, however you like to say it. Licking the pock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we do do the whole elaborate plan that Nate has so amazingly planned for us. Thank you. Um, and he does not attempt to harm. <gasps> oh, maybe the baseball, he's a retired opera singer. Hat. Maybe he's asleep. <laughs> maybe he's just scared and <laughs> Fair enough. So we, we we slowly enter the room and we find that it's filled with an enormous amount of supplies. <gasps> and I'm not talking about just food and water, guys. I'm talking about like weapons and ammo, among other things. And they didn't shoot us. No. Wow. No, they did not. They're so they're, friendly. It's and they're, because we knocked. And they are still in the corner of the room, and they haven't moved. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Okay. And we will find out where that takes us no! in the next episode of no! the Y Fighters Apocalypse Survival Guide. We're and we're going to go to commercial now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we are back with the Y Fighters. I'm CC Lee. I'm Jeff. And I'm Alex Rich. And I'm Alex Rich? You mean... I'm Alex Rich, so I can say, and I'm Nathan Coffin. <laughs> All right. Let's not get, wow. let's, let's not get vicious me. in here. It's like he forgot about me. He didn't forget about you. He just said it incorrectly. I just wanted to say, I and I'm Alex Rich. I mean. He likes the word, and. You still hurt my feelings. And that's Nate Coffin over there. Yeah! <laughs> He's hurt feelings and all. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going to move on to our tech update. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. So. So every week, uh, I've been given some pretty wacky, wacky things that are being invented. Wacky, tacky. Oh, yeah. So what? this week, we're going big. Oh, yeah. How big are we going? Jeez. We're going uh, Hogwarts big. Are we going, like, Supernova big? We're yeah. going H.G. Wells big. Are we going, like, Big Bang big? Whoa. Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're talking invisibility. Not being able to, you know, Like be... magical invisibility? Oh, no. It ain't magical, baby. <laughs> it's science. It's non-fictional. I cannot keep a straight face when you're talking to me like that. Yeah. Well, the invisibility cloak, uh, many people recognize that from the Harry Potter, Harry Potter series. Oh, it's okay. You can see oh, that. I, finally get, I, I finally get the Hogwarts reference now. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, so Harry had the wonderful cloak that would let him be invisible wherever he went. He shared it with Ron. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. He and shared it. And Hermione there. at some points. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And then sometimes Ron and Hermione would steal it. Do their jerks. Fancy shenanigans. Yeah. Regardless, a uh, professor in the University of Austin. A wizard in, professor? Uh, just a. It's no. a professor. He's, a science. he's probably a wizard. I mean, <laughs> the I metaphor is over. I just want to know. I guess he's a wizard at science. If you believe he's a wizard. You're a real whiz. Mm-hmm. Regardless, he is working on a cloaking material. Oh, that's... so he's working on it. It's yes, not. It's, it's not... not actually here yet. That's disappointing. It's in early stages, but heck, it's way further as far as technology. Can I apply to be the first one to use it? Than everyone else, and maybe it probably will never be available until like two hundred. Like. 200. Uh, sorry. I, I mean, <laughs> it, it won't probably won't be available. What year are you in, Alex? What year? He's still he's still stuck 1992? in 1992. <laughs> still stuck Wrong. in the 90s. I want it that way. Anyways, this professor of, well, wizardry science, I guess we can call it. Sorcery, we'll say. Let's just uh, <laughs> hype him up as much as possible so he gives us material. He's working on this material that will make the rest of the world's current cloaking advancements look like, well, the equivalent of a guy standing in a small bush. Naked? that he's invisible. Oh. Ah. Uh. 
<laughs> you know, like st- holding a tree, like a branch, and being like, "You can't see me." Or it doesn't work. The no. uh. peekaboo idea with the hands over the eyes. I now Regardless. know why I now, had really, so many people staring cool at me. The really cool thing about this is uh, you were telling me, Jeff, that this cloak is not just. Uh, invisible. It's going to be invisible to radar as well. Mm-hmm. What, uh, what about heat sensor? Oh, yep. yes, everything. Ooh, yes, uh, pretty much. It's like in this more and more ultimate guys. invisibility. You can turn yourself into a ghost. Essentially, it looks like you can't walk. What through kind walls. of ghost? One uh, that can't walk through walls, like a ghost recon ghost. Yeah, no, a like ghost. Danny Phantom, a polter ghost. <laughs> I don't know. Danny Phantom is a real ghost. I don't want to be that. Danny Phantom could go through walls. In any case, Regardless. tell us more. <laughs> Pretty much the only thing that you could possibly be seen with this hat being on is if somebody flicked dust at you or what flower, I guess. Oh, oh that uh, seems inconvenient. Yeah. Who's going to do that, though? Exactly. How would you know to do that? Exactly. Well, Unless you were like one of those mad painters who's just like, you know, paint everywhere. Ah. Mm-hmm. But why you would be using an invisibility cloak in that circumstance, I'm not sure. Painters are special. Regardless, this thing will hide you from, well, pretty much all bandwidths. Not too shabby, if you do mind. Well, if you don't mind me saying so. It's, it's pretty still in decent. Early developments, like, or don't expect it too soon. How early are we talking? Like, is this just there theory, is, really? It's not theory, it's actually... Is it in production? It's in production currently. It's okay. All right. Like it's just I now know. trying to hone it, making it a... I just want to make sure. ...more finite science, I guess. All right. Finite science. That's fair. But you know, it's way further than everything else out there. Moving on, though, because we won't be seeing this in the next couple of years. Boo. But when it does, you won't be seeing it. Ha. Ah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ethan, Nate, you are you so do upset not with every impressed. joke that is that is laid down in I'm, here. I'm just upset in general. I said a very high. <laughs> He's wearing a purple week. shirt. How could you upset be upset right now? Uh, these are my PJs. You actually got me to put on pants today. So like, oh, I, <laughs> victory got for you. To put on pants for today. <laughs> what else do you have for us, guys? Invis- <laughs> Sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Bring it together. Bring it back. Come on, <laughs> Alex. What else do you have? Uh, we had we had the invisibility cloak. Yeah, that had, that was our one big thing. <laughs> that yeah. was the grand poobah. Of I this. thought we would we would uh, inform you guys of the big thing, then a couple wacky things. Mm. All right, I'm ready for the wacky. The wacky? There's no wacky to, this week. I wanted to tone it down. We got some complaints. Do, did we? Really? <laughs> yeah, they said they were too wacky. Alex, you need to slow down. <laughs> You're going off the rails. Oh, that's that's sad. Does anyone else have some tech news for us? But if anybody who wasn't here last week, there is the plant. The plant that, <laughs> the that tells plant. you it's oh, yes. the oh. plant. Uh, did anyone purchase that plant while we were away? I Probably. wish. Because yeah. uh, you should, because <laughs> Alex reviewed it, and therefore you should do it. Mm-hmm. You should get it. But I think that if, uh, I think this invisibility cloak is probably being used right now, to be honest. No. I Likely. think that this guy is, is trying to make it, but the Secret Service probably already has one. Like, this guy is trying to like the CIA? release it to the public, mm-hmm. but they already have it designed and functional. And So is he going to mysteriously disappear at some point, then? Yeah, Maybe. he will mysteriously disappear one day. Maybe this is the guy we find, guys. <gasps> no, it's not. And he's got invisibility <laughs> cloaks um, for all of us. Man, that would be sweet. We could uh, go to Hogsmeade and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not gonna get my. Uh, I'm not gonna get the signature that lets me to go. You know. So uh, I, I don't <laughs> know. I live the you may have gotten some complaints about wacky tacky tech news, but uh, I'm gonna go on a whim and just give you some wacky tacky Yo, tech news. Yo, shoot it at me. So uh, a, a genius has made, and I believe he's a genius. He's made an emergency pizza ordering button. Emergency. Ladies say what now? <laughs> I said emergency pizza ordering button. That's what I thought you like said. The, uh, you you have me so in-depth uh, concentrated right like now. Like the Staples red button? Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's got five different uh, dials, I guess you would say. Oh, man. And uh, you turn it to the dial, and you press the button, and your pizza is ordered. <gasps> Yeah. Is, is the and the, the, the dials like are for see. different pizza. Toppings? No, no, no. They're just oh. like for different pizza Places, you know, uh, Domino's. I don't know. You got pizza, me all pizza. excited that, like, oh, you could change the knobs and be well, like, this you know, is the type of pizza. This is early get. development, Jeff. Mm. He may do this. Yeah, he's it, a genius, buddy. If you're listening to this, <laughs> I've gave you just an amazing suggestion. Yeah, this is gonna like this will stop world hunger. 
<laughs> so, um, only if you can world. afford it. <laughs> uh, other wacky tacky, I guess, uh, tech news. A robotic deer to catch Ooh. out of season. Okay. Yeah. So. You know, uh, that, yeah. Yeah. That would be good. Yeah. I don't know if you're into hunting. I hunt myself. Uh, I hunt for bargains. I mostly bow and arrow hunt, but. Oh. Yeah, until the one guy shoots a bullet in it, and then <laughs> your robot... Realizes it's not a real deer. Or, no, if it's a robot deer and, and the guy uses a real gun, there goes the computer inside. Yeah. Well, so this this is obviously meant for, like, out-of-season hunting so that you don't participate in illegal hunting. Yeah. Yeah, so you can you can still practice, but, uh, uh, you know, you're not going to get fined for it kind of thing. Mm. I think this is a good idea. Yes, it is. I don't know. I just... I would not right. purchase it because it's probably really expensive. Also, it's again, it's for those who you know are a bit against animal until death s- until a little say. kid gets electrocuted <laughs> by it and you know ruins the fun. Yeah, for tries all of to us. feed it some carrots. Why would there be a kid hunting? I don't know. No, like best father and son bonding experience you could get. You like, lose the deer, deer, I mean, I and then a little it. kid <laughs> tries to feed it carrots. And... Huh. Yeah. All right, uh, I got one more. I got coin. A credit card that stores all your other credit cards. So it's a it's a digital credit card that can store your other credit cards in it. So it's cloud credit carding. Does yeah. it uh, does it use bitcoins? Uh, no, I don't think it does. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Anyways, that sounds like a yeah. theft's like dream come true. You know? Yeah, it really I, I was, is. I was a burglar. I'm not sure. God, making my job easier. You know? Yeah. Uh, One card at a time. Uh, hey. Jeff, uh, I'm calling uh, you one liner, Jeff. One line, yeah. Jeff. Now. So you can you can pre-order this thing for fifty bucks. Um, I'm not going to do it because I don't have fifty dollars. <laughs> Who does? Can I put it on my Mastercard? <laughs> uh, you could, you could, you yeah, really could. Probably, yeah. yeah. You could put your Mastercard on. I'm it. sure they'd appreciate that. My wallet is perfectly sized for what I need, so I'm good. But yeah, I just I, I thought I'd fill in the wacky tacky. But it is a great idea. Yeah. Do you get air miles? I I don't know. Oh, it doesn't. Could you oh, put okay. your air miles on it? I don't. Well, I, I don't know. Is your, is Air Miles a credit card? Yes. Well, then yeah. Okay. Call yeah. this. Uh, get bonus Air Miles. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, that's what I want to know. Okay. At the end of Call. the day, it's points that count. Either way, it's supposed <laughs> to save room in your wallet, guys. Woo-hoo. In any case, uh, Sierra, I just wanted to kind of go off on a tangent here. Uh, it seems that one of the uh, high order of our fact checking council is not hashing you out this time, oh, but rather uh, heard you say that you like to go on the hunt. And uh, I do like to go on the hunt. Let's just say you got a, a new admirer, apparently, Aww, which is adorable. Nice. This guy, he's cool. Don't worry. I love that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. That yes. guy's great. Great guy. Council yeah. member number three. Yeah. Uh, yes. So much personality. In any case, I just wanted to let you know that. I'm Good super job. happy about that. Thank You're you, council fan. member number three. Am I am I still hated by all, Nathan? Uh, no. You were never hated, hated in the first oh, place. Oh, what? Oh, you know what? This. I was talking about. Are you her. disappointed <laughs> that you're not hated? Well, you know, bad press is still good press, right? No. Only Something if you're like a rock star. Oh. Yeah, but we're not, uh, we're not rock stars. No. I you guys speak aren't. for yourself. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys. All right, too much confidence in here. Uh, we're going to move on to our weekly gaming nostalgia moment, which isn't really a gaming nostalgia it's more moment. It's weekly nostalgia at this point. Yeah, yeah, we should change it. Yeah. Well, we'll get on that. Title no, change. anybody. But, but uh, this is gonna, like my favorite. Part, we're not going to do it right now because I just said it. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to move on with it and keep rolling. What? 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 No, I mean, we're going to like keep going with it. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're going to okay. go on with the nostalgia moment. What's All righty. The- well, our nostalgia moment this week is Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. We all watch them. Yeah, yeah even back, if you uh, don't. I still them. watch them. Back exactly. Then. Back Everybody when we were does. able to wake up at 6 in the morning and think, yeah, no biggie. Well, back before we... Woke up at six in the morning and didn't have to go to you know work. Oh yeah. Or class. Or class. Man, that must have been such a weird time in our lives where now Saturdays like today. I don't remember that time. I wanted to sleep in as long as possible, and uh, so when I was a kid, it was like. Get what up. time did you wake up today? Uh, what time is it now? <laughs> we we started at five. Yeah, four four fifty five. Oh, four Alex. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, no, I got up at you 9, 9 a.m. today, day. to be honest. Nice. That's, yeah. that's I, yeah, 9 a.m. is very good for me, mm-hmm. for anybody who knows me personally. Yeah, I got up around the same time. Part. Next time I'll call you. Yeah, call me. We'll uh, <laughs> do all that stuff we do, radio Email, stuff. me. So, uh, nostalgia moment. Uh, I'll go first? Yeah. <clears throat> kind of <laughs> sticking around. 
Nice. Sticking around, really? Oh, yeah. It, uh, you know, Did that play on Saturday? It played like every day. Like as long 24/7. as twenty four seven, just sticking around. As long channel. as you were on the right time frame, it played. Mm-hmm. And I know, I know, in the morning it would play because I would get up watching sticking around. It's da, a world da, da, that we all enjoy. Real mature, Bradley. Bradley. I just can't believe how popular that was <laughs> for stick and figures. And yeah. It was so popular. Can I just note something about that show that was really messed up? The girl with the dead dog that she yeah. carried around. She carried the dead dog with her everywhere. Like that is really morbid and yet all of us thought it was great i i didn't understand it for the first few years <laughs> of my life until someone was like yeah that she that, and then someone on the show like was like the dog's dead and i'm like what <laughs> that chick's carrying Are you around for real? a rotting dog i always knew it was dead i just didn't really it didn't hit like it didn't yeah really. you don't understand death as much i was as disappointed yeah. it wasn't so, a zombie dog yeah Mm. Exactly, but now that you think about it, that chick, like their parents let her She was pretty a, messed up. A, a rotting dog. So how old were you when you uh, started watching Stick and Run? Oh, that's, probably I was around five, five or six. That's mm. when it started? I can I can think so, yeah. Kind of makes me feel It's one of my earliest shows I, I can remember. Old. Yeah, tell old me about it. Oh. Well, we are all pretty old Depressing guys. moment. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Back in, in our, um, uh, yeah, back uh, in 21, oh, where's my youth taking Talking me? about uh, depressing shows, this wasn't my Saturday morning cartoon, so this is not part of my nostalgia moment, but just kind of off on a tangent. Caillou, did you... Oh, did, don't even get me started. I was already, did like, you know, for way the mature long, for Like, for the shit. longest time, guys, I did not I did not know he had cancer. Uh, what? He had cancer? What? He, he was a kid with cancer. That explains the baldness. Yes! They never mentioned... I never... Council! Wow. <laughs> Council, I need facts! <laughs> you sure that's not just a Reddit thing? Maybe, possibly. It's possible, but I've heard from several people and several friends that he actually had cancer. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah, I, I really hated that bubble. show. My little does, brother watched Does the council it. want to dispute me on this? I got nothing. Can we not dispute about little kids having yeah. cancers? Oh, man, that's just horrible. Yeah. That's... I'm just saying I didn't know, and I felt Next... bad for not knowing. Next, you're going to tell me George Shrinks had something. I got nothing. Oh. He was a mouse. <laughs> oh, no, man. George think, Shrinks, not oh, Stuart Little. Sorry. Oh, fact checked already. Uh, he didn't have cancer. He was just bald because his name means pebble in French. What? How does that even make sense? Oh. You just got hair. Oh, my name is Pebble. Stop. I have no hair. Well, no, because. Uh, okay, well, I really didn't get pe- hash because oh. I had a bunch of te- people tell me he had cancer. Well, and make me feel bad about it. <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> Moving on to... Okay, well, he didn't have cancer. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Again, to the council. Thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, All right, but so, I uh, felt bad for so long. So I, so uh, mine was sticking around. Hey, who's... who's uh, I got, uh, well, both one that I couldn't stand slash one that I loved. Mm. One I couldn't stand, Pengu. Oh. Pengu, Pengu. You I, didn't like Pengu? <laughs> Ever since I was a little child, Pengu drove me nuts. <laughs> it scared me as a child. It annoyed me beyond all comprehension. If you guys remember the, like, the dream I, sequence. I just didn't like it. And I really do just have to go back to the council. His name really means Pebble? Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. I feel like Pengu's a show that they would like, like in military... Uh, like uh, what the they did subliminal where they're, messaging? Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> testing like hallucinogens on people, and then they might jump, make them watch Pingu. That sounds would, awful. Watch so how words, far they go into insanity. You think it's the brainchild of Timothy Leary? Oh, that reminds me of horrible yes. shows that I didn't like on Saturday mornings. La La Land. Did anyone ever uh, see that? I don't know that. Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Oh, was it that weird puppet show? Yeah. Oh my God. Dr- small That's like, La- green La- child. Wait. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't called yeah. Lana Land though. It was called. Uh, La La Land. Yeah, I know. Was it called Lana? La La I'm pretty sure it was called I think Lala. It was called- La La Land, not La La Land. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think know. Land. Council? Is in it. No. I, think it- I feel old. <laughs> and the dog. The dog was the only good. Yeah, the dog was good, but His the Rufus, rest of it right? was really. Uh, Rufus. The rest of it was really kind of just odd. Regardless, Strange. my favorite Saturday morning cartoon was Redwall. Oh. Mm-hmm. I don't that, know that one. I, I know that one. It was a book series uh, about, uh, I guess, like Imagine small woodland creatures. Lord of the Rings, but, but with mice. woodland creatures. Yeah. Oh my! Not Lord, just mice. I love. I know. There yeah, were rabbits right, the main and hedgehogs, and there was and the rat guy. There were the badgers. Guy. There were badgers. The badger Constance. was the bomb. Yeah. See, I was. Yeah. I, Constance. I was a little, little young where I didn't understand what was going on every episode, but I still, 
remember the gl- the the memory of it. He was awesome. Yeah, it, it was like uh, the Secret of Nims or whatever, but in TV form. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I Man, do understand. That, yeah, that was a really rocking show. Yeah. yeah. Good what about choice, you, Nate? Seth. What do we got? Top that. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. How uh, do we top that? I don't really. In terms of action and of like a, a series that was a lot more mature than I was, you would be com- uh, comfortable with. I watched uh, Jacob Tutu. Yeah. Right on. He always spoke. He twice. spoke the truth. He spoke the truth. Always <laughs> did uh, it twice. Did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he was. Who's an upstanding man? He yeah. had two brothers and two sisters. He was friends with ghosts. And wrestlers and, and yeah, who everybody. is he not friends with? The and he was in Montreal. More importantly, mm-hmm. and, and while we're on got the a subject hockey. of French cartoons, Madeline. Remember that? Oh my god, heartwarming stuff. We're getting, I can't uh, believe you guys like Madeline. I don't like Madeline. Well, that's because you have poor taste. Oh, oh, cool. oh. wow! Says the guy who was just conversing about anime with me. Oh yeah! Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, I was listening to that conversation. Yeah, you got you got. Anyway, CC Lee, uh, was Babar, nice. Yeah, I I enjoyed watching elephants talk to each other. Arthur, oh Babar, the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just took me down memory lane like there was no tomorrow. And you just oh. reminded me of an amazing one as well. <laughs> Rupert, Arthur, damn it, Arthur, Arthur. Arthur the hey. Arthur Reed. Are the Arthur Reed. beautiful kind of day. We, we can, can learn, learn to laugh and, and play. And get yeah. along with each other. I love how I'm the only one not singing this song. That's because you clearly you didn't you learn those lessons. You cannot use I have terrible to taste beat. again, Nate, because you've already tried to use that and again <laughs> it doesn't work. I'm just reiterating my point here. Listening to the rhythm rhythm on the street. <laughs> If wow, you like Jeff! The intro song, wow, it makes complete sense. Rupert, though, I I just mentioned that one, <laughs> mm-hmm. and Rupert, oh, yeah. and then there was uh, Franklin the turtle. Oh. Franklin was good. It's Franklin. Funny Bears. story. <laughs> uh, Franklin the turtle. Uh, in, in French, his house. name was Benjamin. Yep. Benjamin. I wish I had Franklin. watched the French version Franklin. now. I had to read it in uh, Benjamin yeah, Franklin. Ben, ben Franklin. Yeah. Ben Frank. Really. Oh man! You didn't notice that just dawned. The on. Illuminati are real. <laughs> <laughs> I now know. <laughs> National treasure is in apparently Franklin. Yeah. Wow. Huh. That's it. The Templars. turtles are wise. They they do it all along. Mm. Hmm. He could he could tie his shoe and count to ten or something. So what was yours, CC? Uh, Babar. It was Babar, right? I didn't, okay. Yeah, Babar. Oh, that was it's probably the best one. <laughs> Babar, man. Oh. Who didn't like Babar? I I didn't like Babar, but I have such a like mem- good memory. But you of have it. fond memories. I of do it. have fond memories. Of so the you kind of like. I didn't it. really watch. You liked it. it for the memories. I would always change channels. Oh. Mm-hmm. Wow! But, but when I look funny. back on it, I'm like, yeah. The... And I remember bananas in pajamas. Was Ooh, bananas in pajamas. Oh bananas in pajamas. In pajamas. Oh, uh, oh my hey. God! Elliot Moose is on the loose. Elliot Moose. That show scared me. Not only did they have the puppet, or not the cost, the like live action uh, costume one, they oh. also have the cartoon. Mm-hmm. So that was the a best big best one. Best Which best one did you guys like better, the, the puppet or live oh, action yeah, one? Yeah, live action. Or, live action. Or, or, really? Because they, they had yeah. that little. That house scared me though. And, uh, I liked the cartoon, the but cartoon, it scared me. The cartoon was just a little bit disconcerting. It didn't feel because like you watch the real life one and then you watch the cartoon. It's like there's a there's a disconnection here. Uh, no, for me, with live action, my heart sticks with Dudley the Dragon. Mm-hmm. Man, you guys are getting me into oh. like uh, Mr. Dress Up now. Yeah. I'm thinking about that man, my Mr. main Dress homeboy. Up's the reason oh, I Mr. Wear Dress Up. as well, w- just like Mr. Rogers. Oh, Mr. Rogers. Oh. Mr. Oh, we already discussed. Yeah, this we had knowledge. a dispute yes. the other week about who was the main. Uh, wow, that talk. was like three weeks ago. Yeah, I think that should be a. Who it was would in research win. class. Yes, we... That's a future who would win. How do Somebody you fight that those down? two? Though you just do. Okay, get ready for it, uh, listeners. It'll happen. Eventually. Mr. Rogers versus Mr. Dress Up. It's gonna come sometime. Oh my god! So uh, we're gonna go uh, to commercials. So stick around right here on the Wi Fighter CKDJ. Oh, uh, uh. Why don't you blow me 
can see to show You know that you've been here before But you didn't realize that you got it, you got it My pockets are empty and my palms are poor With your cocaine kisses, no wonder you never listen Now you can't be my missus anymore River road where gravel Don't track your mud in on my flower Can't seem to get me going If I walk down your street though And you offered it to me I have to admit that I take them I take them But your motives are selfish And your ego's glowing I cannot be your trip out buddy When your jackal side is showing with a 450-pound silverback gorilla. Ah! Okay. Thankfully at Treats, we've got just what you need to get your day started right. Home-baked goods and a fresh cup of our gourmet coffee to take the stress out of your mornings. Oh, God! Well, at least a little stress. Treats. Nobody treats you better. The pavement lies before him. A street lamp lights the way. Such steady pace and lane control, his passengers will say. He brought us safe together, and we've had a merry time. While we drank beer and shots, he ordered soda with lime. We hope he always joins us. We enjoy his company. A leader, a warrior, a man amongst men. For short, just call him DD. Thanks to designated drivers everywhere. Brought to you by Arrive Alive Drive Sober and supported by the Beer Store. After a night out with your friends, not having a plan for a safe ride home can leave you in a bad spot. You could end up riding in a police car, an ambulance, or a hearse. These unplanned modes of transportation are costly choices and do not take you home. Your plan for a safe ride could include a taxi, a designated driver, or public transit. 
I'm Ontario Provincial Police Chief Superintendent Don Bell asking you to choose your ride and always have a plan for a safe ride home. A message from the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police and Arrive Alive Drive Sober. We are back from break with the Y Fighters. I'm CC Lee. I'm Jeff. I'm Nathan Coffin. <laughs> and I'm Alex Rich. There you go. <laughs> hey! oh, yay. The order's right. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move on to our next segment, which just happens to be a day in the life of DM. Oh, that's that's me. That's, that's me, you, Nate. I'm that's one you. of those things. I love that guy. Oh God, I feel so honored. You love every guy, Alex. Whoa, what? the love that uh, Alex and I'm I a share loving guy. is special. <laughs> he likes every guy, but he loves me and Jeff. Well, how do you yeah. feel about me? I'm not a guy. Well, then he's so he's I'm free to love. I'm very compassionate towards you. Oh, okay. Well, you have a special okay. place in my heart. Uh, I have a, the bonds of friendship that me and you have created together can withstand any threshold. Are you I'm liking I believe this. That, that I see a future. I am liking this. Where we conquer any dispute. Are you done? I no, so. I am never done with Sierra because <laughs> our friendship is everlasting. Okay. <laughs> All right. So moving on to a day in the life of DM. Nate, you want to take us away on an adventure? course well not a venture this time mm-hmm. i've mentioned having terrible players in a game can ruin it uh but really what can like absolutely slay a game is uh having that corruption having that uh terribleness spread a bit higher uh affect a few other people and we call this uh the the events of a horrible horrible dm now my first dm i have to say and uh, people listening right now, my counsel right there, mm. they've been with me forever. But before them uh, was this guy, and his name was Fairfax. Now, Fairfax was a very, very... Uh, Not so good. He wasn't a very good person. He wasn't a very smart person. He was person. a meanie pants. He wasn't a very sane person, actually. Oh, so he was a crazy meanie pants. Sometimes, yeah, no. Like, yeah, there are th- things that can make you upset with your DM, but you know what? You still love them. Sometimes you don't love your DM because they're jerks. Sometimes they don't show up. Sometimes they make fun of the players playing. Sometimes they demand certain things from your players that you really weren't expecting. And sometimes mm. they railroad them so hard you were, you were wondering if this was a, an adventure or a book. Sounds heated. It gets heated uh, Well, by the time the pressure. It's giving mounts. me goosebumps. Uh, I bless the time I have with my current DM, uh, Jams as we call him, mm. or uh, the blessed story mother that was Verge. Ooh. Uh, no names to you. That is such a good like title. Story blessed mother? Blessed story mother? Blessed story mother! Um, but, uh, wow. Yeah, Fairfax. He was the different guy. He was the, he was the black sheep of my DMing uh, experiences. experiences. Yeah. Uh, half the time he wasn't talking about him being angry or unhappy or depressed. He spent in the background, yelling at his dad in angry Finnish, which is like, Oof. it is disconcerting. Honestly. That sounds weird. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's weird. It's highly distressing. It, it kind of like, uh, it, it scares you, really. Uh, being un- mentally unhinged does not a bad DM make. It doesn't make a bad person either. Uh, uh, but I get you. Although we often brought up his frequent skips into absence, he would assert he was... All right, he was able to continue, and most of all, he was the best choice for the current game. Uh, he was cocky and arrogant, didn't know when to shut his mouth, and uh, he was really your, getting heated now. Oh, yeah, mm. and he was in your face if you screwed up and was unforgiving if you got uppity. Oh, uppity. I'm putting like the bunny ears up above, but the uh, quotation marks, quotation marks. Uh, he was a rude person, and this high and mighty entitlement crossed over into other games. Uh, with uh, the blessed He went mad mother. with power. He did. So he was a solid citizen and a good guy. <laughs> yeah. Oh. He would often def- uh, demand for uh, special one-on-one treatment with our current DM, uh, which is... He an- demanded it? He demanded it. Well, he was asking for it. He was demanding it. He was, he was demanding it. Huh. Uh, but that was a game with like 12 other players, mm. which is it is unconventional. Usually you want a lot less, but you know what? Literally we like cut to- it in half. We, yeah, we mm. like to go full ham on these things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, YOLO. He wow, would, I can't believe I just said that. He um, was uh, I'll, I'll, on uh, air, Jeff. I'll, <laughs> on air. I'll break your knees for it later. And anyways, thank you. Uh, he was literally asking for the impossible. It it was a team game. 
In any case, uh, he got dragged off eventually somewhere after ditching. Not only the game he was running into the ground, but the game he did turn my uh, DM out of playing. Another reason that uh, the Blessed Story Mother um, kind of like petered out in her energy. Uh, I, I and several others had a long, nice talk with her, and we were able to get her back on, but without the dude that kind of ruined it all. Uh, just this is just my lesson here. Don't don't be a jackhole. No matter who you are, no matter what your position is, get along well with your uh, co player, your your players, and your your DM, and be a good person. And I just thought of a clever line. You know, it doesn't. And if you're not sense. a good person, Guys, try to be a good person. Jeff, say your clever line. Carpe diem. Carpe diem. Ah. Uh, I don't think it was as clever as you thought it was. Seize the day. You know, but no, if you're going to be a, a, a GM, yeah. thank you. Yeah, I got it, it would make sense that you're going to build a game that everyone's going to enjoy. Enjoy. That's the whole point of being the GM is to create the world, and yeah. you're, the, you're the game master, and everyone's supposed to have a good time. If you're going to be an a-hole to, to the players, no one's going to be wanting to play the games that you're creating. So... It's really or going, even be it's, around you. Exactly. Yeah. It's going against everything that you're doing. You're so, so, you know? It, it takes a certain bright individual to be a GM. I try to be a really good one. Sometimes I have the uh, problems with my um, storytelling, and sometimes I just don't I don't feel happy about how I told a certain portion of the story. And sometimes it just looks like I'm wasting time and doing whatever, or filler or whatever. Um, I have one uh, DM that I'm with right now and he's doing a really cool game with New World of Darkness and he's an upstanding gentleman and uh, he he takes a nice setting and uh, if anyone's ever played Persona he takes this setting of like and this kind of like setup of story plotline whatever and he takes it he, he makes it his own he has a really good idea with it and he makes it fun and enjoyable and the way we play it and the way it's run and the number of players it all works it all fits together we still have this plot that we haven't lost track of and we haven't had any issues with him whatsoever so a good experience all together oh yeah no for sure it's all about having a good experience mm -hmm. let the good times roll get let the good times roll that, that's exactly it i totally fumbled on my words there and i totally <laughs> see the pun in what i just said let the good yes wow when have you not had a pun this entire time that one was accidental but, uh, that was right? accidental <laughs> Very happy accident. A happy accident. Yeah, just like me. What? Whoa. What? No. <laughs> hey, dude, I I'm born in September, so. Yo, me too. Yeah, it makes you think, eh? Twenty second. What does that mean? Uh, Twenty. Uh, no, twentieth. Dead on. Virgo. What does being born in September have to do with anything? Uh, January. December. Wait, September or December? It, or, what happens sorry. nine months before September? What month? It, it's January. What's right before January, the very the, first day. The very day. The very day before January and after January. Uh, in January. <laughs> Enlighten me. Well, we celebrate. You know, Alex uh, is like, it's too much thinking. Well, we celebrate it hey. at the end of every year. It's pretty new. Happens every year. Hmm. And it's a. It it's also an eve. It's, it's six days after Christmas. Okay. Uh, Kwanzaa? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's New Year's Eve. Close enough. So what do, what do adults do on New Year's Eve on cold nights alone in their bedroom? Party. Pinatas. With their friends. They invite them over. Pinatas. Pinatas. That's exactly it. Moving on <laughs> from Day in the Life DM and Did talking about hot? holidays. <laughs> <laughs> We've got, uh, we got TV, movies, and comic news. Uh, Jeff, do you want to start us off for this? Yes. I would love to. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I well, already know. There's some good comic or TV news. Yes. You were telling me. Uh for Arrow fans, I know I talk about this show a lot, but what? this one you do is not. not. Well, okay, I don't. But <laughs> there is another character being, un well, being put into the ranks, the garrison of DC characters in this series, if you will. And this one's more Batman-y. Drum it's roll, please. Nightwing. That's right. Wow. Nick Grayson himself will be appearing in... This series, you know, the right hand man. It's, I, I, yeah, it's this name. Is everyone okay? <laughs> I wasn't laughing at his name. I know, I know Grayson. Richard Grayson. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, you were kind of laughing. I love at that his name. guy. No, he's, he's actually, um, 
He was a good character. Was he, was he your childhood hero? You no, know, he wasn't. Uh-huh. I, I didn't uh-huh. watch enough. A tweet enough. Occur- uh, happened on actor Steve McQueen. His uh, page, if you will. I don't know. What, his Twitter, Twitter feed. Profi- Twitter, Twitter feed. feed. Thank you. Of him working out. And the quote of it is Nightwing training. So the man's Did he picked. look good? He's guy's buff and he's rocking the Nightwing symbol on his shirt. So what shirts. you're telling me is I should check it out. Pretty he's, much. He's also very... And he, uh, looks, right. the, he looks the part. He's like, very handsome. Facially wise, uh, I'm going to try and show C.C. Lee the image of the man. Eh. eh. He's a hunk. He's a hunk. <laughs> he's, a, he's great. He's no Thor, but he is Chris a hunk. He is definitely not Thor. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, you should expect to see the character soon-ish. Soon-ish? Yes, and by soon-ish, I mean in the next coming months. So this season... Interesting. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. As a, you know, Robin fan. Which you are. Yes. An avid Robin fan. I am an avid Robin of fan. Of all of the Robins or just Dick Grayson? I wouldn't say I'm that much of a fan of Damien, but that's just my two cents. What about, like, what about the new Robin? That's what I meant. Damien is the new Robin. Uh, Even well, I know this. The Come newest. On. No, I know that, but like, I mean, the like, there's been like a couple, the female one, yeah. It's too soon to say. See, that's what I was talking about, Nate. I wasn't talking about Damien. Mm-hmm. Wasn't he the the actual son? Yeah. Okay. He's bugged me. What about uh, Robin's like alias in Teen Titans when he puts on that X suit thing? You know what I'm talking about? The X suit. X suit. Yeah, I, I know what you're talking about. The, the X guy. I think they might have actually called him the Red Hood. Was no. that it? No, that, no. That was not the Red Hood. I, I felt like that, they did, but my brain um, would have been all happy and confused yeah, because he, it's the wrong Robin. He, he creates so, this alias to, de, to defeat Slade. Red X. Red X. Thank uh, you. There you go. I was on the right okay, track. Okay, now I know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. I didn't even have to. I had to. Uh, council got me on that one. Thank mm-hmm. you. Okay. Thank you, Council. See, I knew I could trust the Council. What have you ever said that? I say it all the time. Now you guys are always there. telling me. How okay, we're going we're gonna to move on to some uh, more TV news. Uh, I do talk a lot about this show, The Walking Dead, though none yes. of you have taken the time to watch it. I, actually, I watch it. Do you? I, I I've watched watch like two episodes. <laughs> My girlfriend I'm like loves all it. caught up. All right. Uh, thank you, Nate's girlfriend. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm not really happy about the way things are going so far in the, in the new season. I just, uh, well, I'm not liking the things that are happening. The one episode I watched, they were killing baby pigs. To get rid of zombies. Yeah, that and was I, that was a good means of bacon right there. Yeah, I was like, uh, what the junk? But, you know, it was infected, so, of course, they can't eat that. But I was mostly upset, you know, when, uh, I guess, again, most of you haven't watched this, but when they got rid of Carol. Well, they didn't really get rid of her, but they told her to go away. They so got rid of her. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just I'm not sure how that, those things are going to go, because, uh, you know, now Daryl's back. He's back at the prison. He's not going to like this kind of stuff. So I don't know how everybody else feels about it or how our audience feels about it, but I'm not happy. It sounds like Survivor. I'm a man. not happy camper. Like somebody got boated off the island. Yeah, kind of. Wow. Except it was more like a rictatorship one boat. A rictatorship. Nice. <laughs> no, people have used that a lot, guys. People have used that a lot. I haven't uh, heard anyone use it yet. Uh, okay, well, if you watch The Talking Dead afterwards, it's, it's, it's used Dead. a lot. You could have taken credit for it I, right now. I'm not that kind of person. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna give the credit where it's due. Well, speaking of Walking Dead, the spin-off series that has been announced, you know, a while back, it might be a prequel. A prequel. Mm-hmm. Now, how do you do a prequel to a zombie apocalypse? Twenty-eight days later. Well, that's, that's not really a prequel. No, no, no I'm really. just saying. I'm just, in in that sense of like. Oh, I understand what you're saying, Jeff. Yes. So, how do you how do you tell the story before the story? Exactly, because the whole thing revolves around well, a zombie apocalypse, and what I happened after the zombie outbreak happened. Mm-hmm. So, are they going to explain how the zombie outbreak happened? I am not sure. It's going to be like uh, announced it pretty much because it's you know if, if if you have read the Walking Dead comics, you know a little bit more than what you would know if you only watched the series. And I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil. But the prequel definitely know they know that this spin-off series will be happening in Georgia and that's all they are willing to release. Wow, right that's now. like nothing. Eh, that tells me nothing. Place. I had this feeling it was going to be like uh this uh science teacher uh, he's he gets cancer and he's going to. This is doctor. not breaking that. No, no. Listen, he uh, meets up with this uh, old student of his, and then they start making zombies in their uh, 
in their secret lab. Yeah, the launch of this spinoff. You know, happened. because a science teacher has money to fund a secret lab. Yeah. Spin well, <laughs> Sorry. This spinoff <laughs> is going to get dropped in 2015, so all answers will be found. I have then. to wait till 2015 for this? <laughs> hey, is there still time to be an actor in this then? <laughs> Probably. I'm pretty down for that, guys. Oh, I think you'd be a great zombie. Thank you. Sierra. Oh. <laughs> oh, Jeff. Jeff uh, Swing and a miss. You'd be a good zombie killer. The hunk guy who kills all the zombies. Are you Sierra. telling me I'm going to get killed by Jeff? No, I'd probably, you'd probably get Jeff when he, he least expects it. Yeah. yeah he'd probably I, turn I around and go, bite. oh, CC Lee, what's up? <laughs> oh, you're biting my neck <laughs> in a non seductive no, way. Why? I'm hungry. <laughs> Make it all. For brains. <laughs> yeah. I thought they just ate flesh in the new stuff. Yeah, they pretty much just. <laughs> what if flesh? you're like one of those? They don't really like, have a taste for brains. I've never seen them go for it. Zombie, you know, like they, if they if they make like a little cartoon about the life of being a zombie, and everyone's like, "Yo, we're gonna go get some brains for lunch." The vegan zombie. Yeah, the one zombie's like, "You know, I'm not really into uh, brains. Uh, 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 I like uh, chicken." Yeah, but like, I, I feel I like most zombies stems. need to eat to survive. Tofu, to- it's just tofu like being brains. a human, but a zombie. Oh, you know, they still got to eat something. Tofu mm-hmm. brain. They just don't like eating vegetables. I like, um... <laughs> You're still going with this? <laughs> like, uh, low-fat, soy-based... Seriously, probably brain. a rough world for that guy. I don't think soy he... Brains? I don't think he's... All, <laughs> I think he's just really hungry all the time. Oh. But he's, like, starving insatiable himself. Insatiable hunger. He, insatiable hunger, but, like, he's just tired, so he doesn't really actually want to, like, I think a comedy eat. show of, like, being zombies would be funny. Mm-hmm. They should do it. Oh. It'll be called The Laughing Dead. <laughs> I'm so sick. <laughs> I'm so sick of zombie uh, stuff. Yeah, Sierra though. likes it. Honestly, though, I, I don't But like I love it. zombies, Nate. That, that's your opinion, and you're entitled to it, as bad as it is. But I hate <laughs> zombies. I'm so sick of dealing with zombies. You know, I'm that's so a pretty, about them. That's a pretty so understandable. Like, you know, when the zombie apocalypse comes, you're going to think otherwise. So right now you're like Sam Jackson in Snakes on a Plane except zombies? Yes! I'm sick of it. I, I'm done. I'm done with zombies. Okay, so we know where Nate stands. Uh, this is going to make the survival guide really interesting. I yeah, swear, it really is. I swear to God, if you introduce zombies, I'm out. I'm leaving she this She made station. it clear that there was no zombies. There are no zombies in this particular survival guide. If you call it However, infected. in the future, in the future, there may be survival guides where we yeah, must like deal with those zombies. Like, if you kill me, Nate... In the apocalypse, uh, survival guy. You're coming back as a ghost, okay? No, I'll probably. <laughs> yeah, we come already back. discussed that. You, you were going to be a ghost. Uh, I think I'd be a sexy ghost. Yeah. I don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying. I got like, everything. To All right, so uh, quick comic book news. Uh, if you've ever read The Shadow, I don't Ooh. know how many people have. But, uh, you know, it's there's just a, too dark to read. <laughs> there's a preview for number 19 where a voice from the past raises questions that the shadow cannot answer. Dun, dun, dun. So that's just a little quick tidbit of, uh, you know, mm-hmm. some comic book news. But uh, we're going to move on to our next seg- segment, which is who would win in a fight? And today's fight is oh, yeah. Alex versus myself. <laughs> yes. Kapow. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. Uh, Thank that you, was Nathan. a bit too. Uh, wow, <laughs> I got a little bit into it. That was, a little bit really into that. Yeah, a little over exaggeration. I mean, right. I'm we a little fearful. Zone. We should start. <laughs> we should start making a little, uh, little song. You know. So uh, yeah. today's go today's corner. fight. Anyways, uh, I will be playing the role of the Power Rangers, which is ultimately superior, obviously. So they oh. say. Putting let's it not, out there. Let's not start shooting the rounds before the and I will be even playing, begins. Or sorry, playing. <laughs> I will be defending the side of the young, the brave, and the now kind-hearted old. <laughs> yeah, now old Thunderbirds. Yeah, the Thunderbirds are go, and we're here to show you Power Rangers. This is two aspects. We're doing of- it like. 19, now let's let's 20. just be clear. If the Power Rangers and Thunderbirds were to ever truly meet, they'd probably be on the same side. Yeah, they mm-hmm. they would definitely save. But save for that. all intents and purposes, we're gonna go with them fighting. Yeah, we're gonna do it. So uh, let's lay down some ground rules. I'm gonna say we don't use any mecha forces or yeah, anything I was like say, that. No robots. No yeah. robots. No Zor. Well, the unless for my my ships, which is 
that's what the Thunderbirds are. It's, it's kind of their thing. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> that's true. But like, well, I am. I'm not be... going to rely on my. Now, yeah, we won't be morphing forces. our ships into ask. giant robots. Okay, all right. Like, Which Power Rangers are you going with? Yes, that was what I. I that was, is hard. I was wondering, like Mighty Morphin, like my childhood. <laughs> or the dino ones, or you know, the, you know, the I had a lot ones. of choices. Ooh, I did have samurai. a lot of choices. I could either go with the Mighty Morphin. I could have gone with the Power Rangers Time Force. Uh, you know, could have gone with Dino Thunder. Um, but uh, I'm going to go with Operation Overdrive. I don't even know this one. Oh <laughs> man, I'm getting yeah. Operation a Overdrive for those of you who don't know is when the Rangers were again genetically enhanced. Yeah, genetically enhanced. Yeah. Oh, you are going ruthless. On oh this. yeah. Oh, you had to choose the genetically enhanced. I ones. did it. <laughs> and now I know why you don't want to use your mecha forces. Because I already have genetically okay, enhanced well, people. Yeah, bring it on there. All right. So, uh, as uh, most of you people know, uh, all of the Power Rangers are superior, have superior natural athletic and martial arts skills throughout really- any 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 of the Power Ranger series. Mm-hmm. They they've always had that. It's a standard. Mm-hmm. It's like. Rule one. Yeah. But uh, in Operation Overdrive, they are genetically enhanced to have, you know, super strength. Oh, wait, I got a question. Yep. Do you have the green Power Ranger on their team? We we have a green Power Ranger, but he does not have his psychic abilities. Oh, wow. Well, that makes it I was going to say, like, the green one's always the best one. Yeah, so. that's why yeah. I'm, I'm giving you that. Whoa. It's an advantage for you. Okay. All right. Uh, so aside from super strength, they also have enhanced hearing and sight. Uh, they can jump long distances, have super speed, and uh, the Rose Power Ranger, or just Rose, has invisibility. That's just cheating. Yeah. And also, Tizon, an alien from Mercury who became a Power Ranger, can uh, turn into a liquid metal. I remember this now. Yes. Yes, wow. you do. Wow. Yep. That's right. Huh. Mm. When this one air? Bringing it back. Yeah. Uh, it was an older one, for sure. I don't know the exact date right now. Oh, wow. Older one. It premiered on February 26, 2007. That's old for me. That's old for you? That's totally old for when me. When I'm saying old, I'm thinking like original and around that, like the first five. You yeah, well, like 15th. I only like remember the last two years, so. I only know I, I only know of this because I helped my cousins out like babysitting once. All right, so uh, tell me about your strengths and weaknesses there, friend. Alex. Strengths and weaknesses or of the strengths. Thunderbirds. Well. In the 1960s. <clears throat> just saying. Put oh, yeah. it out there. All right. So I'm just going to I'm gonna drop like my biggest one here just because you're going all genetically enhanced on me. Mm-hmm. Uh, being puppets, uh, the Thunderbirds are mortal. They don't, they don't grow old. They don't age. Yeah, they don't feel pain. They're, this is true. They're puppets. So, <sighs> so they're basically godlike beings. I could just throw that out there. Like all puppets. Yeah. Now, so their parents are multi-billionaires. So Playing the money card, are yeah, we? Yeah, so they live on an island, a secret island that no one can find, apparently. <laughs> so they just party there all the time. Until it's like they, the mysterious island. Yeah, until they need to go save lives. Which they, they always do. Yeah. They're all severely good looking. Like, they're all like. <laughs> uh, Aren't like, they puppets? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but they're all How American. How do you distinguish like, whether puppets. or not a puppet is good looking? You know. Well, I saw the real action film. I like the contours of your uh, moving jaw part. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and, yeah, well, it's just, they're, you, know, you know, they're studly hung wells. We're not. What? Not, <laughs> what? But they are. Oh, oh, because they're puppets. <laughs> they, they hang. Yeah, yeah, hey, you, you got there that? we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I know things. What they're else you got? Super point? rich, so they're like Batman and Iron Man times two, time wow. wealth wise. Do we know their exact wealth? Oh, it's it's trillions of cabillions. The main puppet characters are. I think you don't know their exact wealth, <laughs> so you're just giving me a random number. They yeah, have the just, power of infinite money. They don't yeah. have a billion dollars. They're multi- well, the Power Rangers don't need infinite oh, money. Okay, okay. Yeah, but we, you know, so they also have the bonds of family and love. So uh, together, Power Rangers have the bonds of amazing friendship. That's true, but the, the family, it. the family bond, is so strong. I don't know. I've seen a lot of families fight. All right. They they can outdo anything. I, I think it's time to learn the parameters of the 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 three rounds of this. I mm-hmm. guess. Mm-hmm. Land, so we got. There. I guess family. <laughs> yeah. Family uh, versus friends. Family versus friends. That's truly what this. Yeah, is I all guess about. it is, eh? Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Well, tell us. 
What are the three rounds here, people? Uh, well, well, if how about it was we each have to save the city from like Godzilla or something like that. You know, I love yeah. how you pick Godzilla. <laughs> something really hard. So this is I a, feel like that's directed at me. Yeah, this isn't, uh, this <laughs> yeah, isn't, that is directed at you. This isn't an actual one-on-one fight. Then this is this is a fight for the savior of Earth. Because it wouldn't make sense that we would fight each. So other. No, who saves doesn't. the world better? Who's, yeah, yeah, who, saves, who the saves the world better and first? Power Rangers. Well, I'm sorry to break it to you, uh, baby. Uh, you know the, the Power Rangers have definitely but, fought uh, monsters yeah. like Godzilla before? That's true. You have fought. You destroyed a city in the process. Yeah, you guys do. That just, city didn't matter. You had to turn into, like, giant Optimus Prime to do it, so. But the Thunderbirds would always get there first, thanks to Thunderbird 1, their super awesome rocket that can go to 15,000 miles per hour and has a... Auto, atomic fusion reactor. So we, they get there just like that. Doesn't matter if it's on halfway across the country. They are there. You do first, realize in first. most of the Power Ranger series, they just magically teleport to wherever they're supposed to be. Ooh, she's got you there. Not always. Sometimes they have to get in their like, little wait, car and drive you there. You said some of the series. Is yeah, some particular? of these series. In Operation Overdrive, they do do that. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, I, but we still... So uh, tell me how uh. Thunderbird... Uh, your your magical vehicle would uh, top against my magical just poofing. Well, it has a machine cannon on it. A machine cannon. So it's first on the scene. Has a machine cannon. Uh, it's got you know four booster rockets. It's huge, and the ladies love it. So he's just attracting the the fans. So what you're okay. saying is that it's like size that counts. Is that your yeah, argument? It, just, it <laughs> comes in with style, efficiency, and. Have you seen the Power Ranger outfits? Uh, have you seen the Thunderbird outfits? I have. They, like, you go to a club in that. <laughs> like, it's... I've seen people club in a Power Rangers outfit. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. seen tons of people club in a Power Rangers outfit. On Halloween? No. No? No? Gee, as well. <laughs> Where have I been partying? <laughs> Not, Not in the right places, places yeah. hey Okay, okay, so you would teleport there and I would get there in about a second. So we can both say that we're uh, pretty... Evenly efficient. matched there. Evenly matched to getting... To, on the scene. On time. Quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Very punctual. Yeah. yeah. All, right, All right. So as, as far as that goes, we, we match up pretty evenly. Uh, as far as forces go. You, uh, how many Power Rangers are on yours? On my, on my team, on the Operation Overdrive team. Yeah. There is a total of five. Five. Okay. Well, there's five Thunderbirds. Not all Thunderbirds would be on the scene, though, because one of them's in space. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thunder Thunderbird 5 is a giant space station, so we own the space. Is he just, like, always there? Yeah, yeah. Thunderbird 5 is a okay, giant well, space station. Okay, well, I can tell you that all five Power Rangers would be there. All five of them. Okay, okay. But They'd be they, on the do you have a space station, though? No, we don't have a space well, station. I, well, if How God, would that help you if, in this fight? Well, if Godzilla decides to go up into space. Why would Godzilla go up into space? I don't know. Shoot a giant hyper beam at us? Mecha Godzilla. Yeah, thank you. Well, can Godzilla survive use, like the uh, atmospheric pressure we would use by thunder. going through the atmosphere? How do you know Probably. he can't? And then we How do you know he can? Thunderbird 3 is the giant space rocket that can go into space. We have a, yes, we have a space station and a giant space rocket. Okay. I would hope All right. so. So either way, <laughs> yeah, we both yeah. get we both get to the scene of the crime, which is Godzilla ter- yeah. terrorizing a city. Do we know what city this is, guys? New York. New York. Okay. For some reason Godzilla decided to terrorize New York. It Big could city. happen. We both get to the scene of the crime fairly quick fairly now, quick at the same time. Now, there's lots of buildings uh, falling apart. What do the Power Rangers do? Lots of civilians need to be saved. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, they use their amazing martial arts skills to round them all up and save them. Martial arts skills to help the destroyed rubble? Destroyed rubble? We're well, saving yeah, people. Yeah, you like, just said uh, I was saving a people. A building is, is like falling apart, and you're going to use martial Yeah, arts. you just like got to do like a bunch of jumps and... like. Kicking, okay, well, kicking rubble I, away. I would use Thunderbird 2. you got to remember these are genetically enhanced. R- oh, right. They ranges. can just punch through the concrete. Yes, eh? they can. Okay. Right. Super strength, remember. Well, luckily I have Thunderbird 2. And the remember, one of them can turn into heavy duty a, vehicle, yeah. which has supplies, everything they need, water and blankets, and can uh, have the other, th- can hold another Thunderbird So you're Thunderbird relying on daddy's inside. money. Uh, we're, this is the Thunderbirds are all about the Thunderbirds. This is the, the Thunderbird is just the saying. Oh my God. Just saying. <laughs> like <laughs> you're relying on your fancy punches. Yeah, you have to also remember that 
uh, these Power Rangers have super speed, so they could probably go really fast, save a bunch of people, and get out of the building before it collapses. Well, we would do it, but with uh, style and suspense. <laughs> Power Rangers don't do things with style? We don't need superpowers. We just need our concentration and communication and bonds of friendship. But, Actually, yeah. bonds of friendship is mine. Yours is bonds of family. But yeah, And friendship <laughs> with the people we're saving. Because we're friends with the people of New York. Yeah. So you, people don't go, oh, those Thunderbirds always destroying our city. With causing their, a ruckus. Yeah, like you Power Rangers always breaking stuff. And you know, even though we break always, a lot of stuff, I'm pretty sure the Power Rangers are always like, uh, you know, they're always receiving praise. But if it wasn't for the citizens. Power Rangers, there would probably wouldn't be so many aliens attacking New York to destroy the Power Rangers. We're not talking about aliens. We're talking we're about, about Godzilla. Godzilla. What a bunch of buttholes. Is that not an alien? We didn't distinguish whether or not Godzilla was an alien, yeah, so you can't bring it in now. Yeah, okay. 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 Third so, and final parameter. All right, yeah. What's up? Round three. <laughs> oh. Um, hmm. Does anyone want to decide uh, round three for us? Underwater. Against, it's an underwater. What do you do? I think Godzilla's under- against Godzilla himself. Underwater. Underwater? Yeah, underwater. Okay, well... well just in general, you could start So, if we were underwater, I'm now going to start to use Thunderbird 4. Oh, jeez. The submarine. Looks like we conquer space, land, and water. Okay, well, you have to remember that Tyzone is actually an alien from Mercury who can turn into Mercury. So he would just go into poison? the water as Mercury and That's, poison Godzilla. Well, and poison the our rest fish of the supply. world. Oh, That's he doesn't horrible. care about the rest of the world. No, he could do it like in limits. You know, you just oh, you just poison Godzilla. Risky. That sounds that's danger zone it's right risky. there. Well, uh, yeah. So we then the just... Thunderbirds have to clean up. He's an alien. <laughs> he knows how to control his powers, guys. I would hope so. Yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just luckily. Know. Well, he could only invade the body of Godzilla, poison him from the inside out, come out as liquid metal, but not infect anything else. You I have to understand the parameters. I will accept that answer. Yeah. Man, that seems really far fetched. You're just angry. I, I, hey, I'm not angry. I'm just going to... I'm just frustrated. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Thunderbird 4. So Thunderbird 2 would fly over, drop a... How many and, Thunderbirds are there? There's five Thunderbirds. There's actually a sixth one, but I won't get into the sixth one. All right. Because that's a whole other side that's story. Fine. But Thunderbird 2 would fly over, and it holds Thunderbird 4. So it would drop Thunderbird 4 into the water. And then, then uh, he would shoot rockets at it. And then Godzilla would pop out. And you're telling me that's not going to destroy a bunch of stuff around? Like No, it's just guys. Godzilla. It's not poison is my point. Yeah. You're saying that rockets would not poison the water system? Not as much as... Not directly. A bunch of mercury. Mm. Well, Godzilla would mm. be like popping out of the water You have to understand that the mercury point. from Taizon is only his body itself, so he can control it. It never goes anywhere else but where he wants it to go. Touche. So what, he kills Godzilla with mercury? He poisons him from the inside out. Oh, man. I feel like Godzilla would be like... Like immune to that stuff. I'm pretty sure Godzilla would have just wrecked everyone in this battle. Yeah, not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta round things up. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do the vote, the final vote. And uh, Jeff, Nate, this is up to you now. Bonds of family, well, friendship, who can overcome any natural disaster, comes, or you're still going. You gotta let them decide. <laughs> you cannot do this. I was gonna war- get you amped up too. So, but you know what? When it comes to I guess the saving of people, I'm going to have to give this to the Thunderbirds. Oh, yeah, uh, baby. Yeah. In the sense that they actually have well planned for helping people, whereas... Using daddy's money. Hey. That doesn't... Power that doesn't Rangers matter. use some <laughs> entities' abilities to give them their abilities, so ha-ha. Entity? I don't know. Like I'm just going off Mighty Morphin. They use this is not Mighty Morphin. Zed. Um, no, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, we're talking about Operation Overdrive. Come on now. Regar- oh. I don't, I'm not well yeah. aware of it, but regardless, they use some extra character's influence in order to get their powers. So they were just born genetically advanced. Huh. This is usually the time where, you know, you would actually say yes or no. <laughs> no, I'm just nodding, nodding at you. I'm just, I'm just going to nod at so you. So Thunderbirds <laughs> are just an average family. Regardless, save lives. they actually go about actually trying to help save these people, whereas the Power Rangers are more fight-based. Yeah, but their whole point is we to save lives. I mean, I mean, they, they destroy a bunch of things, but they've never actually harmed humans. My point is is that they're more geared towards the fighting, whereas Thunderbirds, th- Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds, not boards, boards. Uh, Thunderbirds <laughs> are 
Well, so in terms of saving the city, you're going to give it to the Thunderbirds. Yes. All right, fair enough. I accept this. combat, I'm giving it to the Power Rangers. So currently Alex. I'm at one and one, oh, both Jeff. of you. So you're drawing it as a tie you then? You can't jump on the fence You're going like to do this. a tie? You no, do a tie? I don't want to because... you got to give us your vote. This is tough. Is it the Thunderbirds or is it the Power oh, Rangers? This is so hard for me, but I'm going to have to give it to Thunderbirds. For my vote at least. You're doing it for the hot nanny they have. What? Yeah, they also have a hot nanny. I didn't mention that, but they do. <laughs> that has nothing to do with that's anything. A, that's just a plus one. That is a Nathan? plus one. All right, my opinion, or my uh, my uh, conclusion. Um, you, I always lose these battles. The, both of you, <laughs> both of you are complete buttholes. I like. I'm. I'm serious there. So your like, vote is Godzilla. My vote is Godzilla. I am not sitting <laughs> on the fence about this. Uh, I might take my side back. I'm I'm pretty Godzilla right now. <laughs> I'm still voting but Godzilla. If we're looking at fighting capability, I'm with Jeff. It's Power Rangers. If we're looking at relief aid, it's going to be Thunderbirds. But that's comparing like apples and oranges. Apples and oranges. There's different things that they do. If you want to look at the greatest Henry, heroes, who is the greatest heroes? If that's you what I want to look at. Uh, the Godzilla. Greatest heroes. Who's the better look- hero? Godzilla oh! is not a hero. <laughs> if you want to look at. Uh, Power Rangers, you uh, excluded the Zords and all that, but I give it to Power Rangers. Thank you. Mm, so we got a 50-50 split. All right. So well, uh, uh, how about you guys go on to uh, our new Facebook page? Or our Facebook page or our Twitter feed yeah. and tell go us what you think. Let us know. Tweet at us at YFighters underscore CKDJ. That's YFighters as in like Wi-Fi, but also with fighters in it, you know? Just so <laughs> let you guys know. <laughs> and we will be back after the break. And welcome back to the Y Fighters. I'm Alex Rich. I'm Jeff. I'm Nathan Coffin. And I'm CC Lee. We're glad to have you guys back. And uh, what are we talking about? Uh, gay- TV news? Webcomic. Webcomic news. <laughs> That's not news. Uh, in any case, I have a fantastic strip for you guys today. How like fantastic is it, is it, Nathan? It might be one of the like most recognized uh, webcomic of all times. Uh, it is called Dr. McNinja. Yeah. Uh, Dr. McNinja is the oldest son in a family of ninjas who, instead of continuing his training as a ninja, went into the medical field and came out as a disease-curing, arse-kicking, sword-swinging, cool dude. The story is written and drawn by Christopher Hastings, who apparently is doing a mini-comic series called Long Shot Saves the Marvel Universe. Alex, you, don't you uh, love that guy? I do love that guy. <laughs> Alex, it sounds like your life. <laughs> Wow. Born to a family of ninjas. Raised to be a doctor. Well, no, a Pokemon Sorry. master, but Sorry. same thing. Anyways. Yeah, you're leaving out all the other dark stuff. <laughs> Anyways. Oh Dr. McNinja, it's more of this surreal, out-of-whack storytelling that brings McNinja through some of the world's most heinous enemies. Like Donald McBonald. Uh, who is basically a stand-in for Ronald McDonald. The fiend. Raptor-riding bandits, Dracula on a moon base, and NASA guests who protect astronauts from danger when they go to invade a rocket ship launch. It's nasty. He's joined by a colorful cast of people such as Gordito Delgado, a young lad who grew a full glorious mustache out of sheer force of will, uh, Judy, his gorilla secretary, secretary slash receptionist, Yoshi, a Velociraptor he was given by uh, That's so cute. Bandits, and Ben Franklin II, who was a clone of the original Ben Franklin. It, is now the Velociraptor a girl guy. or a boy? I don't know. Oh. Back to the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He's, he's a 12-year-old or 30, I don't even know how old he is, but he grew a, he grew a mustache like a full, like, those, you know the like the November plastic mustaches. It kind of looks like that, except it's an actual mustache. The thick, awesome the th- Jamie Heinzman. Yeah. Must- the walrus stash. The walrus. Yeah. Beautiful and thick and luscious. Is that and- what we're gonna call it now? Yes. Yeah. No. It's mm-hmm. it's a full mustache. In any case, uh, I'm jealous of a 12 year old. Never <laughs> thought I'd live to see the day. <laughs> it has uh, an ongoing story that, if you really want to get the full feeling for it, you got to start from the beginning, which is honestly not that bad of a thing because it's probably one of the best stories I've read. That was how, actually... how long it is it? Like how many Ooh. web comics are there so far? Up well, to how date? many? How many strips? Yeah, how many strips are there? Many. I think there's about 15. 15 full story yowzers. Yeah, well, 15 story arcs, and then there's about 40. 50 like if you published it as a real comic book you could probably get like a good 
10 issues. I know what I'm doing tomorrow before watching Walking Dead. By the way, they actually do have uh, Dr. McNinja published... um, Works. Works, yes. And uh, so, really, I can go to a comic book shop and buy this. I found one in my chapters. Ooh, Ooh. So, they're big leagues. Yeah, no, yeah. they really are. It, it's really cool. Uh, really good story. So that's uh, Doctor McNinja. That's D R M C Ninja dot com. Doctor McNinja dot com by uh, Christopher Hastings. And, and you should web- definitely check it out. That's my web comic of the week. And uh, we're gonna move on to our newest segment, the Otaku Affair. Oh my god. Yeah. Yay. What a wonderful name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I love that segment. <laughs> in this in this we talk mostly about anything Japanese, manga, anime, Japanese so we're, news. We're going global. Yep. Yep. Uh so Nate, I'm assuming you want to start us off this week. I do. Uh Haku Kim. Uh I don't know if you guys know about this. He's probably not even Japanese, honestly, because I think Ragnarok Online was a uh Korean game. But uh you know, it kind of fits the whole like weird Weird parts of Asia. In any case, he's gotten into development on his own after he left the team for Ragnarok Online, and he's developing a game that's going to have... By the way, which saddens me. Oh, yeah. Uh, He will have 80 different classes that you can choose from in this game, which is overkill, honestly. I just wanted to let you guys know in case you really like Ragnarok Online. I like customization. Customization is nice, but if I want to have everything in this game experienced, I'm going to be sitting there for a long time. I guess is the point. Yeah, it's true. You got something for us, Sierra? So those who are very... Uh, what do I have for you? Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I love everything Japanese. I actually speak Japanese myself. Oh, I goodness. took two years of it. Goodness. I don't believe you because you've never, ever spoken the Japanese actually, to me. I did ask her to speak Japanese to me once, and then she just blatantly refused. She did. So I think it's a myth. I did. She did speak it to me once, mm-hmm. and dead on. Like, I was flabbergasted. It sounds I, good. I'm asking you for like a phrase or two, you know? I just say what do you something. mean? Like, like you're listening to Wi Fi. What does no Maiwa? Like it's just like what's your name? Like you know all this stuff. But uh, what oh, do you want conver- me to say? Though? It's conversational. Though? Yeah, it's okay. it's mostly conversational. I know your basic things. Like if I were to go to Japan right now, I would get by fine, kind of thing. Okay. Like so I, in other yeah. words, Wi Fighter trip. Woo! Yay! Let's find the money, huh? Uh, well, there's lots of things to talk about tell in us, Japanese uh, culture. Tell us your favorite anime. My favorite anime? Go for it. Go for the throat. Do it. Oh, wow. Well, there's lots of animes that are not my favorite anime. Talk about one that recently has caught your attention, then. Recently caught my attention. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I know there's that whole... Uh, I swear to God, you say Attack on Titan. <laughs> I was going to say that, but just about how much I'm not really a fan of it. Yeah. I, I have a few friends who are really into it. I'm I have not. a lot of friends who are really into it. I can't stand it. We have a coworker. Who's we do have a coworker it. who's really into it. And you? Yeah. We do. Uh, her name is Rosie Toast. Oh, yeah. Shout oh, out for Rosie yeah. Toast. I do love her. Yeah. Sorry, Toast. Um, yeah, sorry, Toast. I, she did actually recommend the series to me. I watched it, or what is of it right now. There's only... How many episodes are out? Like I have no idea. There's not 19? many. I haven't oh. checked it yeah. out yet. Uh, Let me ask my uh, hidden counsel. Now. Yeah, counsel. <laughs> um, counsel, get on me on that, but continue. <laughs> but, I, I, I mean, I've watched the series, or what there is of it, and I, I'm not really too impressed with it. I feel like it's just kind of a remake of a bunch of things that have already been done, necessarily. You know, mm. I don't know. We could just talk. Rehashed. I don't know. I, I just, uh, I'm, I'm not too impressed. We could probably devote like a good like 20 minutes to just talk about anime, but I kind of want to mention one that uh, isn't recent for me, but is uh, really big. One of your head. favorites. One of my favorites. Because you talked about it a lot with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> are we talk about TTGL. Yeah. Hell yeah, we are. So uh, just for our listeners, could you explain a little bit about TTGL? TTGL stands for Tank and Top of Gurren Lagann. Thank you for pronouncing wow. it properly. Thank you for uh, Try recognizing saying that my... five times fast. You no. can't. Uh, it is one of the. It was one of the most hot blooded uh, mecha anime that I've ever actually watched. And mecha anime is basically big uh, robots. Big robots, yeah, big robots fighting. Go and go it, Power Rangers! It's Sorry. it's a, it's <laughs> incredibly comedic, and it's at times it can get <laughs> really Quite serious. Already. And uh, it. it Oh my god! It, you kind of have to see it to believe it. It's kind of surreal. I guess. A so lot what of we're saying like is, is watch it, watch it now. Watch it now. I'm serious. It's like what, twenty four episodes, mm-hmm. and uh, it's it follows. It's your this, average anime series. Yeah, it follows these two people who live underground, Simone and uh, Kamina. Pumba, 
Pumba? No. Uh, no, Pumba is not in there. But uh, they uh, go onto the surface after they find a giant mecha robot and basically hijack it and then go on an adventure. So it's kind of a post-apocalyptic kind of thing, too. Oh, yeah. It, it really is. It's, mm-hmm. it's super cool. You Which, really uh, if you're a fan of animes, you generally love those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. If you have a favorite anime series, uh, t- tweet at us at, at Wi-Fighters underscore CKDJ. Got to really sell that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, sell, sell, sell. I'm not all that well versed in anime, so this is like the well, perfect. I mean, time you've for seen me Gundam learning. Seed. I have seen Gundam Seed. I've which is seen an amazing Gundam anime. Wing, which actually got me into more, you know, anime stuff. The, mm-hmm. At least the stuff mm-hmm. that I do know. Mm-hmm. And I do watch the, a recent series, Korra, The Legend of Korra Avatar. Mm-hmm. Not really an anime, but uh, well, it's inspired. more of a. It's it, it is yeah. an anime. It is an anime, but it's American. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a Western uh, anime. You know, American anime. You know, guys, I'm, I'm so anime. shocked because you guys talk about anime all the time, but none of you have ever brought up Naruto. That's no, because like we it. do not speak of it. I don't like it. it I don't approve of it. Yeah, I'll be quitting the it's, show. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Look, out of the big three, I'm not going to be... It's like the oh, biggest oh, anime yes, tell in us the about world the big three right name. now. The we had this three. conversation just a while ago, actually. Okay. So the big three that right now are standing around, uh, you got Bleach. I, have you heard of that one? Yes. yes. Heard of we've got, we've got Naruto. And then we've got... One Piece! Nate and Nara's favorite. Honestly, is the best one. It's about you the pirates. One Piece is better than Naruto? Yes. Which one have you seen? The four kids dub or the actual good one? <laughs> wait, wait. The, what? There's two series? Well, there, there's the four kids dub where four kids took it and basically like stripped down everything that was actually cool and made it this complete joke. Well, they made it like PG-13. They made it super PG-13. I think that's the one I've seen. Yeah, that one's not. That it's one not bugged me. It's not good. Yeah, watch watch the real one. Watch the real one or watch Funimation. Funimation did it well, but watch like subs because name. it's better. Wait, so also, Attack on Titan has 25 thing. episodes. Uh, Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's about pirates. That's all I know. It's not all about pirates. It's about Monkey D. Luffy. And I'd just like to say that Fairy Tale, for all of those who you have watched the Fairy Tale series, it's a ripoff. Really Sorry, is. Sorry, I don't know. What, what is the Fairy Tale series? Wait until winter break, and we're basically going to be like binging at your place. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. We wow. Four weeks? Hey, we could go through all of One Piece in yeah, that time. Yeah, we could. It would, uh, it would take a while, though. It's sitting at like 600-something episodes. My I, think. Eyes are I don't know if we'll have the- time for it. I'm going to have square-shaped eyes. But yes, so Alex, screens. out of the big three, out of Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, Nate and I agree that One Piece is superior. But it's still part of the big three, and that means that they're like, they're okay. That's rough, guys. <laughs> they're generally considered okay, but I'm super big into One Piece. Dragon Ball. Uh, I've been keeping Sorry, up. Guys, I'm Ball honestly, no, I know Dragon as Ball. much as there could be a lot of haters oh. out there, but to all the people who are, are ninjas out there. Keep watching. Oh, remember, anybody he was who, born into a family of ninjas, guys. Yeah, anybody who's keeping up with Naruto Shippuden right now, some major stuff's going on. My Norwegian That's, friend is. Yeah, well, your Norwegian friend knows what's up, and he's probably a really solid guy. She bought one of the... <laughs> she, uh, she, 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 she bought, she's probably a babe. You know that... Uh, actually, she is, but oh, uh, yeah. she bought one of the jackets. She, guys, you, bring it together. Come on. No, she bought one of the jackets that, like, the, the little your floral design thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, and she wears that now, which I found was hilarious. Okay, so you just send me a link How to her often? Facebook. <laughs> she's she's uh, happy. I will admit, being a lover of cosplay, that Naruto cosplay is it's really cool. The bomb. It's really oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Like, it looks good. People do a good job with I have, it. So. I will admit this on air. I have a Naruto tattoo. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Where? Is it the one that I think I'm... Yeah. Oh. I, I have the curse mark. Ah. Uh, mm. Oh, yeah. Right wow. there. the same spot. My girlfriend dedication. Won. My girlfriend dedication. Uh, often recommends uh, Kill the Kill, but I would not recommend that to anyone else uh, <laughs> for personal reasons. You can search it on your own. So you're just doing don't. it because you want her to be happy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I want to get off my back. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Otaku Affair. That was that was lovely. That was actually really nice. I got to finally like splurge and just talk about that so much and. He's been waiting so long. It's it's just been pent up. I'm like, yeah, Good like Good stuff. Geek niche. That includes anime and manga, right? And, yeah. Uh, yeah, we really wanted to bring Otaku Affair into the whole mix of everything we have. We weren't expecting mm-hmm. the name to be like that. But. No, but it was a suggestion from our dearest, dearest friend, Rosie Toast. Yeah. Who also suggested Titans, but uh, you know, I'm not Again, mm-hmm. it's not my cup of tea. What, War of on Titans? Uh, no, it's Attack on Titan. Attack on oh, Titans. Oh, Attack on Titan. Yeah, yeah. I watched that, actually. You did Did you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Really? Yeah. See, there's a lot of people who love it, guys. I need to check this out. Yeah. She told 
You told me about it yesterday. I still haven't had enough time. So, uh, Nate, maybe you, sh- you and I should give it another chance. I don't know. <sighs> I'll watch with everyone else. Yeah, okay. We'll and do that. And then my girlfriend's going to get mad because I'm not watching it with her. <laughs> <laughs> Stream her in. I could probably Skype. do it. Yeah, Skype her in. Sync to, whatever. But, uh, yeah, no, we could probably do something like that. Yeah. Uh, but until then, it looks like we're going to have to wrap up this show. Anyone mm. have anything they want to say? Any thank yous? Any? Uh, uh, I yeah. want to I wanna give a big thank you to my friend and your friend, guys. He is your friend, but he's more my friend. Uh, no, Andrew, Michael Carr, who said the Power Rangers would I love win. That guy, he lives except in my when building. He, yeah, he <laughs> does live in Jeff's building, but, you know, he's my man. No. Well, he's my man now, too, because I also said that. Yeah. Um, so, uh, go Power Rangers. Well, he just I, went against me, so now. <laughs> your mortal enemy. Gloves all, are off. All the, uh, slipping into his apartment. We're going to be having another who will win in a fight, it seems. It's been real life. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this has been another installment of the Wii? Y Fighters. Wii? I hope you enjoyed it. Wait. Yeah, but Date Nate has something to say. I just want to say really quick, uh, happy birthday, Amanda Gelb. If you're listening right now, you're my friend, and uh, uh, th- those <laughs> buttholes were for you. Happy yeah, you're birthday, a great, Amanda. Great happy birthday. So uh, thanks for listening to the Y Fighters right Monday, here on I mean. CKDJ 1079. Ottawa's new music. Over and out.